there's no point in just me sitting back here being miserable and seeing all of these fantastic social media posts coming in about all the fun that everybody's having over in Austin at the Bastards Ball. Why don't I just do what we've been doing for the last two years and making most of the difficult situation that we've been finding ourselves in and use our technology, use our fantastic video platform to share whiskey? Why don't we just open the, bu the VPUB for some extended opening and head on over there and try and get a wee peek behind the curtain, a wee peek through the letterbox and see what's happening over at the Bastards Ball in Texas. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Hello, whiskey folk. Hello, everyone. Hello, whiskey folk. Hello, beautiful whiskey folk. Hello, dedicated barflies. And hello, magnificent bastards, if there's any of you tuning in. Um, yes, it was a short notice stream tonight. I thought it was a good idea because, you know, I'm sitting here doing nothing anyway. Um, I've just been kind of filling in the time, scrolling through my phone and looking at all of the uh, action as, as, you know, this thing has been building up. Well, it's live now and it's been live for the last couple of hours. So I reached out to my barflies on the ground, uh, Bill, Whiskey Disciple Bill, as you know him, and uh, Time for a Dram, Gregor McQuee, the two of them travelled to, they, they could travel because they're both stateside, right? Bill's from California, Gregor's from Edinburgh, but he's living in Portland, Oregon. So they were both able to make it. I wasn't able to make it, but they went ahead with their plans anyway. And I'm very, very glad they did because they're flying the flag for the Aquavite channel. They're flying the flag for all of the barflies, and I'm really, really grateful to have them there. Now, I appreciate that a lot of you, um, there's so much choice out there on WhiskeyTube, right? It's really fantastic. It's exploded. And in the last maybe three, four, five years especially, things have more than doubled, have quadrupled and beyond. It's difficult to even keep up with the amount of channels that are producing really good, interesting quality content for us all to enjoy our whiskey with. But what's happened at the Whiskey Tribe through the two channels, the Whiskey Vault and the Whiskey Tribe channel, is really honestly exceptional. I don't know if it's the channel that you go and watch regularly. I know thousands upon thousands of, of you do. But when you do reach out, what you start to realize is that they've taken a format and really put a very unique stamp on it. The Whiskey Vault is very much kind of fun, easy going introduction to whiskeys, a, a, a kind of review type introduction to individual bottles and expressions. And then the Whiskey Tribe, they've taken this concept and they've just brought so much entertainment, fun, humor, this different ways to share educational information so that it's actually enjoyable and fun to watch as well. And it's involved the guys there and the team there stepping outside of their comfort zone and doing lots of crazy things that they wouldn't otherwise do. Through this content, through their Patreon, through them building the Crowded Barrel Distillery, through them building that thing there, they've ended up building this huge, huge community. There's huge overlap from that community with all of the individual YouTube channels. I benefit hugely from what Daniel and Rex has done. I hope that in some way I'm able to let a little of that, that, that benefit, that positivity flow back towards them as well. Because I think anybody that's putting that much effort into creating that amount of content deserves to be as successful as they are. Over the two channels, they've got 750,000 subscribers. This is in a very niche thing, whiskey, which goes out on a very niche uh, way of sharing whiskey digitally, which is a very niche thing in itself on YouTube. It's very small, and yet they've been able to show just how much interest, how much love there actually is out there for whiskey. Through their efforts and through all the whiskey tube channels out there, our platform is growing. And the reason I'm so sad to be sitting here as opposed to being sitting out there in Texas with everybody today is because it's amazing. It's wonderful. And when you get together with everybody, and I'm not just talking about the, 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 the people that are bringing their whiskey to share, the distillers, the producers. I'm not talking about being able to drink all these fantastic whiskeys. I'm not even talking about being able to hang out with all our co-creators, all the other channels, and having a laugh and relaxing with peer channels out there. I'm speaking about the time you get to spend getting to know your community, putting faces to names. 
it's just a very, very uplifting, positive human experience for me. I think it is for everyone. That's kind of why I'm sad not to have been able to have made it this year. However, I only missed the border opening by a few weeks on the 8th of November. It's now been announced on the 8th of November. It opens up again, so I will be stateside. I hope I'm over in the States before this time next year, but at the very least, I hope, fingers crossed, everything crossed, that I will be able to make it again next year, if I'm invited, of course. <laughs> anyway, before I jump across um, the Atlantic, before I jump over to the barflies on the ground, Gregor and Bill, uh, I'm going to jump into the lounge briefly and uh, welcome in so many of you uh, beautiful whiskey folk, dedicated barflies, and maybe tonight some magnificent bastards too, to see how you're doing and make sure that you're all well on this Sunday evening for the extended V pub. The whiskey friend Alan is in. Uh, Alan, you star, you were going to be celebrating your three years tonight. Congratulations, my friend. Well done on bringing uh, three years of content on YouTube. But realizing that there may have been some content coming out from Texas, uh, you thought it better to, to delay. So if anybody's trying to get a hold of Alan, uh, I think he's going to be putting out his content as celebration uh, a week from now. Cheers, buddy, and congratulations on three years. Well done to you. Carl Van Wallingham is in as well. Carl, so good to see you out in Belgium, if I remember well, Carl. It's good to see you back in again on a Sunday evening, my friend. He's saying, evening, Roy. Who else do we have in? Pete Head, Jimmy Legg, Julie Fitzjohn, Watchman 999, that's Greg. And I believe it's Unra. I think I've been pronouncing his name a wee bit wrong, but it doesn't matter because you know him as Watchman and that does us all just fine. Hells Wid is in here as well. Kevin Grant on Whiskey. Max Kreitner, Whiskey Novice Jim in Northern Ireland. Superb. Che Francis. Che, that's Ayrshire, local Che, but now working up in Tindrum at the Green Welly Shop. Che, it's good to have you here, my friend. Pete Head, how are you tonight? How's Frank over in the Netherlands? Hey, Christina, Christina, superb. Christina Vaness is in as well. You might have once known her uh, as Christina Zerpoli. <laughs> I knew her as that. We've met a couple of times, Christina, and we usually meet when we're over there as well. It's so good to see you in tonight. I hope you're doing very well. Uh, great to see your face. Andy C is here as well. Zach Andrews is over there. He's sitting with the guys right now. Um, uh, and he's, he's saying cheers to Pete, to Pete Head. Good to see you, Zach. Good to see you in. You've been growing your hair since I last saw you as well. Eb Heads, Rolf is in. Fantastic. John Kranz. Uh, if you're trying to get my uh, attention, of course, just the usual thing, just type Aquaviti or at Aquaviti, and I should get it like Graham Fraser's done right now. A pleasant surprise for a quiet and wet Sunday evening, Roy. Yeah, it's been a bit damp, cold, and dry here too, Graham. It's nice to see you, my friend. Go Habs is here. Good to see Spiro. German Blocker is here. Willie Dolia. Fantastic. That name, I'm going to try and pronounce it Ard. Octafroig. <laughs> so there's somebody who obviously likes heavily peated whiskies, Mr. Ard Octafroig. Nice to welcome you in. I'm assuming that it's a mister, by the way. I shouldn't do that. Uh, it's great to see you anyway. It's nice to welcome you in. Maybe I know you as another name. Maybe that's a new uh, pseudonym. Files Graph is saying, I'm just trying to stretch out at my native German whisky tubers, a world of its own and great, but we'll always stay with the English ones as well. Good for you. There are so many channels. There are channels going out there, and as Files Graph is saying, German channels going out in Portuguese. There's lots of Asian channels building up as well. It's just becoming a bigger and bigger thing. Video is becoming a much more comfortable format for people to create as well as consume. So it's only going in one way, honestly speaking. And the better that we can make it, the better quality that we can put out. And the more kind of connected, collaborative and inclusive we can make it, in my opinion, the better it's going to be for everyone. JG is saying, so bummed you did not make it there. JG, don't worry about it. Uh, um, I'm okay. <laughs> um, there's been really uh, some fantastic posts on the run up to just going live tonight that somebody's taken along either Mark Goins or uh, Leanne Scotch on the bio Leanne has taken along a cardboard cutout of Roy Aquaviti and they're putting me in cars and in windows and all sorts of things uh, so that's been really funny and a little bit disturbing if I'm honest to see but it's been good fun to see uh, so uh, it's not all um, doom and gloom. There's lots of uh, positivity there as well. Just before the chat jumped there, I saw my friend Mark Kaufman in as well. Uh, let's see. Did I see that? Come on, chat. Scroll now, please, for me. I did. Sad we are on the sidelines, Roy. Mark, you and I have both been locked out this year. You're in Canada, so I guess the border's closed for you as well, buddy. Uh, listen, let's raise a wee glass together tonight or this afternoon, whatever time it is where you are. And uh, we say, well, we know that we'll be seeing each other a year from now. Cheers to Mark. Cheers to you, buddy. Have a small dram, Roy. Uh, Dadge is saying, Dennis has, has bought me a wee dram. Dennis, so good to see you. And thank you for buying me a dram as well. And the chat jumped, as I saw one, I think, from Jimmy. Jimmy, like you star, nice to see you on a Sunday evening. Jimmy saying, Christina Vaness is here. Can you believe it? 
Jimmy, one day you'll get to be in Christina's company in real life. She's an absolute delight as well. I hope that that happens soon. Maybe you and I. Will it be Texas? Will it take me going to Texas for for us to actually meet? Uh, are you able to travel that far south? Or would it bring on a Blair, uh, Jimmy Leg, nosebleed? Uh, it would be great to see you there. And Dar Breter is saying, good afternoon or evening, as it were, Roy and all. That looks like a new name and you're very welcome in here. Wonderful to see you. Gibran Blocker is saying, the opening of the border has been delayed yet again. So let's celebrate our community here. Uh, has been delayed. Is that beyond the 8th? Um, yes, it is continue, continuing to be really, really frustrated. And I think that we're still in for... Uh, a fairly bleak winter as well. Whiskey 101, Nick is in is saying, evening Roy, grab myself a bourbon and a piece of brisket and I'm ready to go. Superb. Getting into the mood, Nick, and it's wonderful to see you and fantastic. Skippy Van Pob is here. Good to see you. Good to see you, Skippy. It's nice to see you on a Sunday evening. Nice to welcome you in, as, as well as Alexander over in Switzerland. That's Hans Waldman. Good evening. He's saying, another wee dram come in quickly from uh, Greg. He's saying, Aquaviti, thanks for doing this. Uh, I'll look for your life-size cutout in the bastard's ball. <laughs> <laughs> replays later, Slantia. Yes, it's going to be a, a wee game of. Uh, I was trying to encourage people to do the kind of barfly pose. You know that one where we're kind of we're kind of folding our arms and we're facing the camera, trying to look serious without looking stern, without looking miserable, um, and trying not to laugh at the same time. And it's a, it's a pose that I've been collecting over the last four or five years, and that that was quite nice to see a few of those coming in. But when I started to see the cardboard cutout thing happening, uh, that that really. Um, that got me giggling. It was good, good fun. Greg's whiskey. Greg over in Paris. And Greg said to me, uh, Aquaviti and everybody happy to re recovered my senses, opened up the new Orchard House but from Compass Box, and it's lovely at first try. Good for you, Greg. Glad, glad you've got something that you're enjoying in the glass. I'll tell you, I have, I think everything I'm going to be sipping tonight is, is uh, from Texas, either made in Texas or purchased from Texas. I mean, mm -hmm. Eleanor is one of the ones that I finished with the other night. I said it was an MGP product, but it's been matured a wee bit in Texas. I bought it from uh, the Crowded Barrel Company. It's one of their source mm -hmm. products. I've also got some iron root that I may or may not open this evening. Uh, I've been holding on to it since 2019. I brought it back from Texas when I was over there. This is their uh, Harbinger bourbon, 45% ABV. So I might give that a wee open. Maybe if one of the Licorice Brothers is passing, uh, I might get a chance to uh, uncork it uh, in front of those guys. I've also got another couple of a uh, balconists. I've got the Mirador in the in the in front of me. Sorry, I've got a Texas single malt in the glass right now, and I've also got some brimstone to potentially finish on. So I've got plenty Texas flavored whiskey in front of me to keep me company. Uh, Jason Whiskey Wise is a new star. Jason, I've got your glass here ready to pour something nice into uh, my friend. This is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite, drinking glass. A nice tall capita. Lovely weight to it and a fantastic wee logo of my friend Jason Whiskey Wise on the front. It's good to see you in here, buddy. I hope you're doing well. I remember we tried that pose with the bottle of Glenvor back three years ago. I struggled to keep the face. Jason, that night that we kicked that off, you were there with us. It was myself, Shelton and you. And I was there at your invitation. And it was in the, the wee pub out in Ashton Lane, the wee chip pub that we started uh, that pose that very evening and I've kept it going ever since, buddy. Superb to see you here. And Christina uh, Van Ness is saying, I'm missing uh, this year's ball myself. Oh, she's not made it. Hope next year we'll uh, uh, get to have a drink face to face again. Absolutely, Christina. I thought you were there. That's incredible. Um, I'm sorry that you're watching from a distance too. And Bill Monteith has brought a dram to say cheers, Roy. Uh, catch you all on the replay. Bill, thank you very, very much. Thank you all for your generous drams. Uh, sorry you can't hang around with us tonight, Bill, but hopefully you can pick it up a wee bit later on the replay. And Anthony Dunn's brought a dram to say happy Sunday, Roy. Here's a wee dram to keep you through the night. Uh, sorry, I couldn't make the trip. Glad you're here with us. And he's, he's having a Waterford. Anthony um, and uh, Bill Monteith and Christina too. Cheers to everyone. So as I mentioned to you, Bill, my friend Bill, I've known Bill for, uh, I, I think I was frightened to work out the other day that it was almost 30 years that Bill and I have been friends. He's from California and he's traveled out to Texas. It's not the first time he's been there. He's been there two or three times, once with me before, but he didn't stay for the whole entire event of the weekend. So this year was going to be a bigger thing for him because he was going to get to enjoy it at uh, a much more relaxed pace until I didn't turn up. And then I asked him if he could work, uh, but also encouraged uh, Gregor McQuee to continue his journey as well and go ahead without me in order to uh, see, see him at least uh, enjoy himself over there, have some vicarious enjoyment for me. 
and also be nice to have somebody there on the ground in case I wanted to do something like this. So let's reach out to the guys. They can give me a wee thumbs up if they're good to. Oh goodness me, this is going to be this is going to be fun to start. Let's bring them in and see how they're doing. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, who are you? The real Scott. The, the real right, Scott. Right, is, is this going to be a guess who's behind the mask? Guess who's behind the? Will the real here? Roy Duff please stand up? Hello, whiskey folk. <laughs> Listen, there's a great there's a great grip to this whiskey, so there is. It's fantastic. Oh, well. You can even see it's Moorish. <laughs> Well, you gave yourself away with your East Coast accent there, your Tudor tunes coming out there. Gregor McQuee, Bill, so nice to see you both. Cheers. I, you're Cheers. both smiling, you're both happy, you enjoying yourselves. Yeah. Absolutely. Amazing. Good. Yeah, yeah, Good. Absolutely. And I know, uh, I'll speak to Bill first, I know that you've been before, Bill, you've travelled there a couple of times, once on a corporate gig, uh, once with me before we went across to Texas together. I know you didn't get to attend the ball that weekend. But it's not your first time there. Right. It's, it's still a nice place to go and see, isn't it? Oh, this place is amazing. You know, it's the whole campus is just beautiful. Even if they didn't have whiskey here, it would be a, a treat to come and uh, hang out. And whiskey is sort of the icing on the cake, I suppose. And uh, and having been here before, you know, on like you say, corporate events and things like that, this is a much different environment with uh, all these um, different distillers here and the other uh, whiskey tube people and all of the magnificent bastards and barflies it's uh it's quite a party and, absolutely uh, i can imagine the vibe is really quite different from the times that you've traveled over for a corporate gig or whatever yeah i think i think you and i both uh subscribe to the same concept there that the, the wicks the whiskey tends to take you or invite you into a place but it's not the thing that you leave remembering. It's the connections that you make with the place and the people and the fun that you've had and the memories that you make, right? Gregor, have you already got a sense that you're building up a wee bit of that right now? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, everybody wants to talk to each other. You know, there's a common denominator of whiskey. I liken yep. it. Like, I was here last night as well, and it's it's what I imagine getting locked in Disneyland after hours would be like. <laughs> Except it's licensed. And everyone's adults. It's pretty. It's, it's pretty spectacular. Yes. Uh, and it's the only costumes going around are logo t-shirts, rather rather than. There's a few. There are a few curiosities, you know, with Rex and his shenanigans. It brings interest, and um, so there are some costumes you'll see some in a bit. But yeah. Okay, fantastic. And I heard I heard somebody had turned up in a kilt. There's, there's more than one, I think. Yeah. There's, there's been a few. I've tested them. I can confirm. <laughs> one had underpants and one I wish had underpants on. <laughs> but brave, kudos to them. It's 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 pretty hot temperatures here for a kilt, I'll tell you that. Yeah. One of them knew he had the swagger to get that draft going, so I knew he didn't have underpants on. <laughs> I I, uh, I do occasionally don a kilt, but I'm not one of those guys with the swagger. I don't carry it too well. I've got I've got legs that hang down like wee white threads from my right. from kilt. So, I but that's nice. It's nice that people are getting into the spirit of things and getting dressed up as well. Absolutely. Now, what's One of the things I wanted to ask you is that, uh, Gregor, you don't have a channel. Bill, you don't have a channel, not a whiskey channel, okay? But right. through videos on, on my channel, through you hanging out in the community generally, you've kind of, I think you've become known. Are people spotting who you are that have people realized that, yeah. oh, that's Gregor McQueen, oh, that's, that's Whiskey Disciple Bill? Has Let's not it. A couple, yes. a couple recognized. Then I speak and they get more confused. It's more like, what the hell are you doing here? Where's Roy? You know, yeah, that's why are you here? <laughs> yeah. But yes, it's a bit like Alice through the looking glass. You know, you step in and yeah, there is, there's familiarity there. Like, you know, I got chatting to Leanne, Scotch on the Bayou and the Dummies, uh, one half of the Dummies, Scott. And it's much like you said, you pick up a conversation halfway through. It's as if it's been halfway through, but you've never met. That's right. That's absolutely right. It's and it's. I think it, that's the familiarity that only yeah. the video format can bring, right? It's just because yeah. you you feel like you've got to know these people. When when Scott and Bart and I met, when I met Eric Waite, when I met Rex and Daniel, uh, all of it. And actually, when I met you for the first time, there was a familiarity there, even though I hadn't hung out with you before on video. Yeah. There's a familiarity there that you that, that you already know each other. I think it's a nice way to learn about anything but particularly yeah. nice to uh, learn about whiskey and 
I I've explained to everybody that I'm I'm celebrating with some Texas whiskeys tonight. I'm so going to guess that the on December, that note, but you need to open. Yeah. You, you were you were flooding. On that note, you didn't ask us what's in our glass. I, I, okay, I should do that, uh, uh, gentlemen. Gentlemen, what, what is in your glass? It's called uh, Iron Root Harbinger or something like that, I think. But I have some guys that are sitting right now you here. Have, now you have to tell me that there's a licorice brother within earshot right now. Oh, uh, there might be a couple of them, I, I guess. Uh, Fantastic. No, and um, they're, they're here to they're here to say hi. If, if, can we bring them on? Well, absolutely. That's that would be a pleasure. I'm just gonna side and let them come over sit here. Yeah. Okay. I'll come. I'll come fully out. Perfect. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, he's falling over. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, hey. now, now you're making it easy for me because it looks like we have two licorice brothers but i happen to know that the one on the left the, let's let's say let's say the least handsome Whoa. Is, my, <laughs> no, my friend josh josh Golliday. josh so good to see you i didn't even know if you were going to be there this year it's so good to see you and on the right we have mr licorice i want to congratulate you because since we've spoken in 2018 and 2019 we've been able to, to meet and hang out at the at the ball together right and things from iron root have just gone from strength to strength so the first thing i need to say is congratulations to both of you well done for everything that you're achieving out there the whiskey that you're producing is fantastic in my opinion but also what's amazing is the world is grabbing a hold on to this thing and realizing it's amazing as well and here comes the complaint <laughs> you know what I'm going to. You know what I'm about to say, don't you? <laughs> we cannot, I why cannot we cannot buy it? Still, we can't buy the stuff in the UK and Europe. Is that going to be a continued issue with the whiskey, or can we look forward to something in the future? I would say you could look forward to something in the future. As to what time frame the future is, <laughs> remains to be seen. It's just kind of fluid. Yeah. And is this is this because of the demand that you're seeing domestically? Honestly, yes, yeah. yes, it absolutely is. It's been overwhelming and fantastic. Uh, the response and the feedback we get from everybody is just incredible. Uh, and uh, I think none of us expected it to be as popular as it is. Uh, you win a few awards, you get some uh, some good feedback from folks, and uh, all of a sudden everyone's interested in buying your whiskey, which is an excellent problem to have. Absolutely. Like, we didn't know everybody else was going to. <laughs> yeah. And, and you know, it's, I guess that for we're seeing it in all the categories right now. We're seeing strains on Japanese whiskey for years now, Irish whiskey. Some releases coming out of Ireland are just disappearing before they even hit the shelves. Lots of the established Scotch whiskey producers, such as Springbank, Glen Gyle, Glen Allachie, lots of them are not even making the shelf anymore, right? It's just right. boom time in whiskey. And I know it sounds like a negative, but... I keep trying to twist it and make people realize this is a huge positive because the whiskeys that are being successful and in demand right now are very high quality craft presentation, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Should, should, I, should I be opening this? Or I think you I should, be, my friend. No, I think I should just keep it and sell it for a, <laughs> for a, for a big chunk of profit. <laughs> well, we've got well, a few more set aside for you whenever you make it back over this way. Yeah, I was thinking about that, Josh, actually. You've got more than just iron root stashed away from me, right? I think it's about 10 bottles at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy well, to do it. As uh, long as they're paid for. <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I don't know if they are. I should check. Yes. Um, so tell us, tell us. Um, it's Jonathan, isn't it? It's Jonathan. Yes, yes, sir. Jonathan, tell us what's in this bottle here. So what we've got on this side, right? this is Harbinger. You might notice a different oh, label. Yeah, we, we, we changed up a little bit, Roy. I've I've got I've got the old I've got the collectible one now I think. Oh okay, you, you you've got the uh, previous edition labels. Uh, you're drinking the 90 proof version of this guy right now over there at the Harbinger XC. So yeah. which is a uh, same flavor profile, just a different proof. So have you got a higher proof version than the bottle there? Of course we do over here. Yes, of course. Texas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do everything high proof over here. <laughs> okay, fantastic. I mean, I, this is but this. Is your this is your take on straight bourbon, right? If I understand well, correct. It is. Correct. So, let, what what are we what do we have in the glass here? Typically Texas Young, no doubt. What's the what's the mash bill and and the cask makeup in this? 
that's going to be a combination of four of our different mash bills. So uh, it's going to go heavier on the mash bills that have bloody butcher corn in there and some of the purple corn. And then it has a little bit of rye and a little bit of the flint corn mash bills in there as well. Uh, but all in all, that guy's probably sitting in 95% corn. 95% corn. And yet, I mean, there is, a, there is a rich sweetness there. There's a slight dustiness there. But when I nosed it, and you mentioned dry, there is, there, is a, there is a nice grassy green spice to it. Very pleasant, very easy on the, on the nose here. This is the first time I've tried this because when I was in the States, I tried a lot of your products. Mm -hmm. But the one I brought back was the Harbinger. I hadn't tried it. So this is the first time I'm actually trying this one. But wow. cheers, guys. So amazing to see you. Cheers. Cheers, Roy. It almost feels like we're together, right? Cheers. It's been too long, Roy. It has. It's too long. It has. Imagine my delight when uh, these fellas showed up with a two-dimensional mm. likeness of my favorite person in the whiskey world. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're my favorite person in the whiskey world, Josh Golladay. That's why you're such a gentleman. I, I have to say that you, you can imagine that when I started to think about the reality that maybe I could get to Texas again, because uh, the U.S. Border Control issued my ESTA, they approved it. And I thought that was me getting a green light to travel, you know, in my naivety, I booked up the flights and everything. Yeah. And I started to imagine that I'd be standing up on that tower, right? And with Jonathan and Robert, and I'd be there with, with Gretchen and Josh, and I'd get to see all these people again. Because you're you're all fantastic people, and you're easy and nice to hang out with, I'm sure, most of the time. But there's that <laughs> pocket of time that we're all in that campus there, that amazing place, and everything is laid out just for you to have a good time together and enjoy what whiskey does to people. That's what's amazing about just a few hours that you're spending out there just now and as the daytime turns into night and things kind of start to settle down and calm down a little bit and everybody's really feeling really comfortable and relaxed with each other it's a perfect example of whiskey bringing people together that would otherwise have no business ever knowing each other absolutely and they were so fortunate to have this place as such a unique location for uh, to foster that culture right for everybody to come together and uh, all the distilleries and all of the wonderful whiskey tribe folks that are, have been so uh, awesome in supporting us. Uh, to, so fortunate to have Wizard Academy is such a cool place to come together. And uh, we hope you can get here next year. Well, uh, well, until at such a point that you start supplying beyond your own borders, Jonathan, <laughs> it seems like I'm going to need to make a trip. And the comments are coming in from the chat as well. I've got Jimmy Legg saying, eh, I'll either pick them up for you or we'll pick them up together. So I think we're already realizing that if we want to get our hands on some of this amazing iron route, we're going to actually have to make the pilgrimage to do it. Um, and, and David Owen is saying, Roy, it's not, he's having a whinge, he's saying, it's not positive for me too, if I can't even buy the stuff. Can we give them a tip, Jonathan? Is it okay to say the only iron route product that is available to buy, and it's regularly available, it does sell out, but you can find it at a reasonable price in the UK. Can we talk about that? Uh, to, to find it in the UK? No, there's, there's, there is a release through a specific retailer in the UK selling an Iron Root product. Right. I don't know, because it's, uh, it's is it a disclosed thing? Put it out. Yeah, it was uh, a Texas legation. Through Barry Brothers yeah. Mud over there. Yeah, so now I, I will say this. I, I did send them two more single barrels recently. I do not know what they're going to do with them. So I don't know if they're going to age them up for a while and then release them or if they're just going to put them out. So it could be could be any moment. I don't know. Same through Berry Brothers. Yeah. Same through Berry Brothers. So that's perfect. So so Berry Brothers was the, the people who stocked uh, the Texas ligation, which was an, which was an Iron Root Republic product, right? It was, But it was, if I understand well, it was straight bourbon. Correct. Yes, sir. That was. So would it have been similar to this? Very, very easy drinking bourbon in the glass that I have here. It is. Um, it would have been a couple, three years ago. I think when we, we uh, did the last batch of that, uh, you might still be able to find some of the Texas legation on the shelves over there. Um, of course, we're, we always think that we're improving, so I hope, I hope that what we have now is even better than what you can find at uh, those old bottles. But. Well, I have to say that this, the one I already have in a glass right now, even although this is a two-year-old product, it was 2019, I think I bought this. Um, this It's just delicious bourbon. It's got that lovely kind of slight spiced fizz it's got that easy resinous uh woody thing it's got the, it's got the sweetness it's got the toffee and the caramel in it as well but it is it's communicative as well as being easy to drink i i need the higher abv to really engage with bourbon and i think that's a common theme actually 
right. softer, softer bourbons down at 80 proof, that kind of thing, it can all be very kind of fruity and woody and not much beyond it. But mm. when you start to get the grip and the spice and the higher ABV coming in as well, that's when it comes really, really enjoyable. Um, I've, got, I've got another bottle here. Oh, unfortunately, there's nothing in this. Oh, my thing? goodness. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's the fifth anniversary. That's, uh, that's, that's the i -Corps bottle there, Roy. That's... This was made. This was a gift made to me. Thank you very, very much. Um, it was a. It was a. I think this was even a prototype bottle. I don't think this was the original. <laughs> That's uh, correct. Um, so, what's happened with this? Was that ever released? That was released for the fifth anniversary, which was now two years ago. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll probably do that again for the tenth anniversary. <laughs> Uh, we've got another product coming out, Roy, called Apotheosis, and the first batch of it actually has a little bit of that liquid in the, that was in on that batch. Um, so that we we put a little bit of Icor in with the Apotheosis that's coming out uh, in about two weeks. So right. and that is a fantastic. Nice so, so all the barflies, everybody that's in the lounge joining in from Europe and the UK now, that's fantastic news, but it's also not so good news. But it just <laughs> it, it encourages you to go out and enjoy some of the hospitality uh, that, that those guys are able to put on. And it's only enhanced by Josh Golladay being part of the team as well. A <laughs> lovely, lovely guy to have. Listen, can I ask you before you go, um, this is it's, it's interesting for me to see the dynamics changing over the last couple of years with the pandemic that the industry, the whiskey industry in general, is becoming much more relaxed about being on camera and collaborating with people that are even uh, enthusiasts and hobbyists doing this kind of content from home. But Jonathan, you and Robert, you and your brother, you were right in from the very beginning. You love the whole platform. You love the idea. Have you found it to be a positive relationship? No, oh, definitely. Hugely beneficial. Yeah. So it, it's uh, we've always had kind of the philosophy that a rising tide is, is going to benefit all the ships. Yes. Um, and so it, it's, it, it's fun to have the Texas whiskey culture here. It's great to have the, the YouTube community involved in this and all those, those, all those different parts kind of melding together are really what have kind of uh, given us a, a voice when we probably shouldn't have had one um, as far as getting our bourbon out there. That's fantastic to hear. And I also get feedback that anybody that comes over and participates in the, the Texas Whiskey Trail, this is something, that hospitality, that warmth, that openness, that inclusivity is not something that people can just enjoy on campus at the Wizard Academy or going out to Iron Root. This is something that's kind of a culture that's swelling within that environment there, within whiskey, right? Absolutely. It's it's such an environment of collaboration and supports. And uh, we were just saying they had a Texas Whiskey Association meeting the other weekend and people were commenting how unusual it is for distillers to, to hang out together and be friends and and uh, share problems and solutions with one another and, and uh, really just cooperate and collaborate. And uh, again, that rising tide lifts all ships attitude uh, is pervasive throughout the whole community, I think, which is fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely. Hallelujah and amen to that. I hope it continues. Um, listen, guys, it's kind of fantastic and kind of heartbreaking in the same, at the same time to see you both there because I would be sat with you and I'm round each and I'd have a glass of something fantastic in front. Listen, until that can happen, until the next time, uh, say uh, all the best um, to, the, to the rest of the team out there at Iron Root, all the best to Robert, uh, and I look forward to making something happen in 2022, guys. Yeah, and cheers, thanks, bro. thanks for stepping behind the bar for us tonight. Cheers, Jobs. Cheers, Jobs. Cheers. Cheers. Absolutely superb. So, um, Roy. So, so uh, Roy. Yeah. So, so, anyhow, so they sat down and, and uh, they opened this bottle uh, literally, what? I was joking. 10 minutes ago, right? Yes. And, uh, you see how empty it is right now, right? But, but specifically, this Harbinger, this new release of Harbinger, you can tell by the, the, the mm. neck label there, this is the one that won the award, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, delicious. Yeah. We're not hiding the fact that there's an award on it. They're walking around with that on the, on the bottle. It well, the, the, tell them they've still got some work to do before they get an, an Oswa award, right? Still some work before you get an Oswa award, FYI. <laughs> I don't know if that was a smile or a grimace just then. I, I think I think there's an inevitability there. But I, what's, what's, I, I think that the, the issue that they, they have is like so many producers out there just now, you know, they never imagined the demand that was going to be for the product when they started out. And whiskey, you can't turn it around overnight. 
So it's going to take them a while to, for them to for them to you know fulfil the demand or match the demand, and that's the yeah. trouble that so many producers are facing right now. Falsgraf is saying, is there any rye on the menu at the Bastards Ball? There is definitely going to be yes. lots of Texas rye there, Falsgraf. Absolutely no rye. Yep. Um, Whiskey Works Graham is saying, do they have any of the Saints Alley getting shipped to this side of the pond? I think the Saints Alley will be, will be struck with the same issues, Graham. It's absolutely uh, all of the Iron Group. And not, not just Iron Root products, but any... There's, there's got to be maybe two dozen Texas distilleries producing product and releasing product now as part of the, the, that whole movement. And I would say that the only thing that we're really seeing here right now is Balcones and maybe a few others, maybe the occasional Garrison Brothers or something, but not much at all. Whiskey Novice James is saying there are incredible American and Canadian and indeed other countries' whiskies that we're just not getting actually access here in the UK. Such a shame. Jim, we're actually starting to feel a lot of the pain that so many are, uh, you know, or the global citizens out there, whiskey citizens, have had not getting their hands on some of the things that we've been enjoying as well. That's why that's when the community swings into action and we start to to mule these whiskies to each other. Are you boys are you both of you drinking that uh, harbinger there? You're on the harbinger. Yeah. Yes. We were filled glasses when they were uh, yeah. talking to you. Yeah, <laughs> it was quite something. There was a flurry of flies coming around as soon as we opened it with glasses in their hands. It's cool. It's funny how that you open something nice and suddenly it's, yeah. it's like it's like a high pitched whistle that only whiskey folk can hear, right? They just yeah, appear yeah. on your side. <laughs> let's, let's, I'm looking for some honesty from you, Gregor McQueen. Uh, uh, yes, always. You're not, you're not you're not a bourbon lover. Me? Mm. I don't know if I can say that in this country in the state. I well, I think, you, I think you can say that because I think that not only will this trip only impact your palate positively in terms of bourbon and Texas whiskey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's going to, it's, it makes so much more sense. I didn't understand brimstone until I tasted brimstone standing in that campus and tasting it, right? Yeah, no, and, yeah. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And yeah. You're, you're, you're quite clearly enjoying that harbinger in the glass right now. Am I loose lips? Is it, does it show? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, just just how many sips you're having from the glass, and like glass. you said when you were tongue in cheek introducing me, it's glass. Moorish, perhaps. There we say, is it Moorish to you? No, I'm drinking because that's the fear. I'm live across the internet. <laughs> it's um, Moorish, yes, it's Moorish. Roy, there's a, there's quite a few people hanging around. I'd like to get some of them on if that's okay. That's why you're there. Let's bring so, them on. That would be fantastic. Well, Listen, I'm going to try and keep the VPUB neat tonight, and I'm, we're already 37 minutes in, but we've got a good 25 minutes still to go where we can where we can uh, get some faces on it. You're just going to surprise me then, is it? Is it? Well, I'd like I'd like you to guess this one. The uh, the person I want to bring in. Um, uh, I won't tell you how I got this from her yesterday, but she was throwing beads around. In oh, the, in the we're, we're, we're going, we're going to see it. Our, we're going to see our favourite lady from the bayou. That's who we're going to bring in. Exactly. Ah, fantastic. I should give you some space. You're good. There she is. Leanne. Hi, Leanne, how are you? How I'm are you doing? doing well, but woefully missing you. Ah, oh, can know, but don't worry. Don't worry about it. We, we've been lucky enough to, to meet up on both sides of the pond and it will happen again and it'll happen again soon. You, you, you have to be there and you have to be flying the flags. You have to be bringing the smiles for Louisiana. And I, 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 doing my best. I was a little weary um, last night, but we're, we're gonna strengthen and try to get through more of today for uh, the bottle share. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's been really fun. Um, your, uh, your two cohorts over here have been a lot of fun to visit with. Yes. And um, and I just want to do a big shout out to Mark JG um, because uh, he is responsible for Flat Roy. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you. Um, I don't know. If it's, hang on, you grab it real quick? Yeah. So I don't know if this. Oh my goodness. This our picture from Glen Goyne two years ago. That's but, right. I had I had an order to make Flat Roy. That right. they, had, they had cut out you. <laughs> was, I was like, we were amazed at how well it reproduced. And if you get it just right, it looks like you're just right there over my shoulder. It's really pretty. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool there. Um, you know, but yeah. what, what's going to be frustrating is when uh, Flat Roy ends up having a lot more dimension than the real Roy, right? <laughs> no, never, never, never. The real Roy is uh, effervescent and ever, you know, 
in our hearts and um, in our minds when we're having our spirit. So you know that. No, you no, you'll get me struggling. Don't listen. That was amazing. That was amazing to see when I first I saw one photo and I thought, oh, somebody's photoshopped me into that picture. That's quite funny. The only time a Scotsman cries is when the whiskey bottle is gone. Yeah. And then when he does, you capture the tears for the whiskey for the next day. That's right. Oh, it was it was fantastic to see, and I've had messages in from friends who are telling me to go and check the Aquavita Barflies page for lots more photos that features. There he is, there, Mark, you star, you superstar. Looking That's handsome as ever. Out of the I'm not a star. She's the star. Yeah. Yes. Knock it out of the park. Everybody's coming around. Roy, Roy, yeah, it's Roy. like, they're like, there's Roy. You don't need a picture. So uh, it's great. It's like fantastic. So, yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's really cool. <laughs> Yeah, so that's, I mean, that, uh, that's I'm going to be I'm going to actually end up being more popular being a cardboard cutout. <laughs> just, that's going to be a cheaper. It's going to be cheaper than traveling. Can I just introduce everybody? If you ever have tuned into a V pub and you look over my right shoulder and there's a huge chunk of hardwood that's carved out and it's got the uh, the, the V pub compass on it. That was Mark Goins that arranged that and shipped that over to me. Uh, it was my honor to be able to do that. So. He, he's a super guy. Yeah, Mark, it's, it's still everybody that comes into this room. Obviously, I'm using a different backdrop tonight because it's uh, obviously extended opening. It's not the regular v -pub, but everyone that comes in here, they see that. And I've got a spotlight that, that, that lights it up that just kind of shines directly onto it. Um, it's amazing to when you see it in person, you just don't realize how big it really is it's amazing. oh yeah no it's, it's wall anchors that's in the, that's drilled into the wall to hold that thing it's it's, it's heavy i don't i really don't want that falling all right here's to you roy we love you we'll we'll be with you next year take care buddy i love you i love you both i miss you both thank you so much thank you thank you mark thank you Leanne. So another Mark wanted to jump in. Is this, is, is this the Mark? Is this the Mark? Is this the Mark? Mark. <laughs> so every time I hear about Mark, that is not the face I imagine. I'm I'm trying to picture all the other, but of course you're the Mark. So this is the first time we've, we've, we've seen each other. I was still looking forward to seeing you, meeting you, you know, but uh, some other yeah. time. Yeah, it will happen. But listen, Mark, what you really need to do is bully Leanne to bring you over this side of the pond and you can hang out with us here. In the hey, that's not going to be hard to do at all. I'm retired. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hope Good you night. travel well, my friend. It would be Take wonderful care. to welcome you here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Incredible. I think we're, we're losing hey, Roy, There's a couple of barflies that are buzzing around here that I can't. I'm trying to swat them away, but I just can't get rid of them. And they want to sit down and say hi. Is that all Perfect. right? Perfect. Is, am I going to know who they are? Let's see. I, I hope so. It's oh, possible. yes. I, I think I'm looking. Am I looking at, uh, well, on the left-hand side, let's me start with, I think that that's sometimes known as Tom and other times known as, known as Ross. Would that be correct? Ross Fudd. Yeah. So we have, we <laughs> right, have right. Tom Elmer. Yes. Yes, sir. And on the right, we have, so on the left, I'm going to associate Tom Elmer with Elmer T. Lee because that's what you gifted me, okay? And I'm yeah. still enjoying it very much. I should maybe pour a glass right now. And on the right is my yeah. friend Ben Stahl. And Ben, I associate you with a glass of what, my friend? <laughs> Harbinger. Harbinger, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I associate you with I was a, I was I was like a rabbit in the headlights at my first ever bastards ball, La Quinta reception. I walked in there, I didn't know what was going on. It was just crowds of people and everybody knew my name and I didn't know anyone's name. It was unbelievable. And there was this huge welcoming arm reached over the entire crowd and placed a glass of Longborn 16 in my hand, and that was Ben Stahl in 2018. This is fantastic to check in. I'm sorry, Ben. It's the annual check in. Every year we got to do this. There you yeah. go. We have to. We have to. And it doesn't need to be a Longborn 16, it can be anything, as long as it's but, something we're enjoying together. By the way, there was a. There was a Booker Booker's for you, but I gave it to Leanne, so she's gonna she's gonna donate it to a good cause. I I can't imagine anybody better to receive it than our Leanne. Fantastic, and I've just learned from Josh as well that I've probably got something like ten bottles waiting in his place that I wasn't. So I probably had to book in some extra return luggage for this trip anyway. How are you, how are you enjoying yourselves at the ball this year? You, you both of you both of you guys are regulars, loving it. Yeah, no, it's it's awesome. This is way better than last year when it was all virtual. To see everyone that like you, you see Absolutely. once a year, it's always a yeah. great thing. 
Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I just been able to put names to faces and 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 just to kind of get that that human connection and i think especially this year ben because so many of us have been forced to look at things and do things differently over the last couple of years have been forced online for a lot of things that just to get that that outlet and such a fantastic environment that you guys are in just now must be pretty amazing fantastic to see you have you been left in charge of flat roy tom i'm I, just for now i'm gonna pass it off to the next person <laughs> Yeah, watch out for him. He drinks a lot more than you might imagine. Be careful, okay? <laughs> yeah, he absorbs a lot. <laughs> Let, let's, All right. see, let's see if, let's see if there's, um, if there's, I'm sure there's lots of bar flies in here. Uh, Kilter Drama is saying, I think that Flatroy should go on yeah. some travels and see him in a YouTube channels. He can yeah. appear on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, we have Daniel in the background. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Sorry, that's wildly inappropriate. Ben, thank you so much. Not at all. You can squeeze in the middle. I'm just going to, yeah, I'll just I'll take that from you. Cheers. <laughs> thank you, Tom. Thank you. Daniel. Oh, I know. I know. I know. Listen, How are you? What worried about is that Flat Roy seems to have a lot more charisma and flexibility than, than actual Roy. So I'm a wee bit worried I'll be supplanted. <laughs> How are you, Daniel? Are you able to we relax? Took, you still remember, I'm deaf in one ear, so I'm going to keep leaning forward. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, yes. There we go. Not there down there. there. Not down. <laughs> you now I recognize your face. We've met. Is that Peter? <laughs> Roy, have you met you remember Fancy Dan, yeah? Fancy Dan. That's it. Yes, I do That's remember. I do remember. Fancy Dan the video man? Yes. Yes, absolutely. One of the two Daniels. Uh, we established a moving company earlier, Daniel and Daniel. Yeah. Or the brothers Daniel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right. And and if I I remember I met I met you in twenty nineteen, I did. But I'm not I, I no. no, I was uh, I was your guy helping you out last year whenever there were all the internet problems happening. You were running your that, pubs. That's how I know you then. So we didn't yep. actually get to meet face to face. Yeah. Yes. 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 I so wish you were. No, sorry. Go ahead, Dan. No, I said I just wish you were here. I heard about all the troubles trying to come over. You know, I, I wanted to meet you in person, but sorry about it. Yeah. No, listen. Don't worry. It's uh, uh, pragmatism has kicked in a wee bit, but over the time, what started to happen with all the social media sharing. Um, even silly things like people sharing a picture of La Quinta hotel reception area, which is not a particularly gorgeous hotel, but it's gorgeous to me <laughs> because of the memories and everything that's been made there and because of it, the people, the connectedness that I'm speaking about. I mean, so that La Quinta has become almost mythological. It's, cr yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. It is. It is. And, and it has been. But I think that I, I introduced this, to, uh, Daniel, earlier by talking about how you guys have created something that I think, if I had to ask you, this is way bigger and, and reaches way further than you ever imagined it possibly would, right? And I'm, and I'm talking not just the scale of your subscribers, not just the, the amount of content that you're able to put out and create. I'm speaking about how it's brought together such an open, inclusive, collaborative, welcoming community that doesn't seem to compete on any level yeah which has got to be a pretty positive and optimistic human condition to be in it's the modern way that was kind of the whole point really was uh it, we we already have that spirit in the community of texas distillers um you're going to find more than most states from all anytime we have conversations with distillers in other states they're always amazed by how much the texas distillers hang out know each other talk to each other on a regular basis, help each other, call each other with questions, uh, support each other in sending barrels or sending whiskey for things. And uh, being able to bring that here all in one location with the kind of people that uh, we had the chance to bring in with YouTube channels and then the whiskey lovers, it was just, it's just an expansion of the same idea. Exactly that, exactly that. And I think that, I hope that people are able to look at that model and just see how it's, it's very, very positive. Josh, Josh and uh, Jonathan were talking about how through that collaboration, they're actively able to help solve each other's problems and help each other out. Now, Daniel, you've been to Scotland. You know about the backbone of the Scotch production industry. And right, right up until the point, the point that a brand is put on a label, behind the scenes, that the industry is very symbiotic. They're very supportive of each other. Especially yeah. if they're geographically close, if, they, if the equipment goes down, if the team they're suffering, they pitch in and help each other. 
I mean, there's proof of that even in the name. Uh, you know, you and I talk about Longmorn all the time, obviously. But there's a yeah. reason it's called the distiller's malt. It's because all the other distillers love to talk about it. That's right. I mean, Longmore was once one of these legendary ingredients that anything you added it to, it added a magic to it, right? It was very highly regarded. And that dynamic tells you how much they relied on each other. Yeah. You know, because everything was based on blending. But that model is still valid today, even when we're putting out single uh, expressions from single locations, right? Yeah. What do you ha what do you have in your glass right now? No doubt it's from your state. No, uh, well, actually, now it is. <laughs> Right before, I just grabbed some Balconas to walk over here, but I was just getting the chance to try two new distilleries uh, that came to this year's ball, which was Talnua in Colorado and Leopold Brothers in Colorado. So I don't know if you've been watching all the whiskey internet groups talking about uh, Todd's three chamber rye, no. where he revived that old three chamber still from pre-prohibition in America, and he made a rye from it. And so he showed up and brought that rye. And then the uh, Talnua guys in Denver are doing Irish style whiskey and uh, unmalted barley percentage and used oak, and it's just magnificent it's whiskey. Very good. It's very Eric good. Waite yeah, has already been on. Uh, Eric, Eric Waite and I had a discussion earlier today, and that's exactly the whiskey he was talking about 50% yeah. unmalted, 50% yes. yeah. unmalted barley, single pot still Irish style. Yeah. Fantastic. And, yeah. and I think that this, this explosion of variety and granularity that we're seeing in whiskey. People are starting to get a little bit nervous that there's going to be just too much for people to keep up. And yet, every expression that goes out onto the market just disappears. There yeah. doesn't seem to be any end for this demand for all this variety. No, the, the people who talk about too much whiskey never complain about too much music. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. <laughs> That's you know a, what? A we have enough bands. Yeah, we don't need any more bands. Everyone stop making music. We've had enough think, and I think the thing that's, that's passing, that's a great way to look at it, by the way, I need to remember that one. I think the thing that passes a lot of people by is that you literally all the distillers in Texas, you could you could combine them all together and they probably would be lucky to make what McAllen makes in a year, right? All yeah, of them. yeah, thanks so for scale, reminding us. Yeah. The scale is very, very small. I mean, it might be lots and lots of a selection, but isn't that another modern concept? It's variety over quantity these days. Yeah. You know, quality over quantity, all of these great, great things. I love and, the ephemeral uh, nature of getting a chance to try something that may not, you may not get another shot at it, or you know, they may not make it again. And I think it forces you into appreciating that whiskey's for right now. And that whiskey's for this moment with these people. And yeah. that's the only reason it exists. And when it's gone, it's gone. We move on to the next moment. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I've got a question coming in from uh, Daniel, Daniel and I's mutual friend, Jimmy Legg, Blair Conrad. Ah, the leg. <laughs> Uh, and he's asking, can you ask Fancy Dan if he's a representation of Sergeant Pepper, Prince, and Adamant? Or those are my three them? dads. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever heard that show, My Three Dads? <laughs> my Sergeant Three Pepper Dads. Prince. Yeah, yeah. Adamant. Uh, Jimmy Hendrix was my uncle, so don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. So there you go, Jimmy Leg. That's uh, that's that's as good an, an answer as any. Listen, guys, I know that you've got a lot of work to do. I know you've got a lot of people to look after. Um, it, Fancy Dan, it was very nice meeting you. It's one of these things that video is doing, but we were talking about it earlier. When you get to see a face so many times on video, you start to believe that you've met. And when you do actually meet in real life, it, ve it feels very easy and familiar. So we'll get a chance to shake a hand and raise a glass soon, my friend. And well, Daniel, thank you. Um, I, I know, and I speak for myself and Ralphie, when I say thank you for being one of the first to jump in with both feet to support the Oswa initiative. Um, that's been huge, hugely supportive to us. Filled our, our sales with confidence as well. Um, and yeah. what you guys continue to do and do out there and from that place in Austin is amazing to me. And I feel very, very glad. Uh, I feel like it's your world and we are permitted to live in it sometimes. And I'm very grateful too as well. Sir, it's always a pleasure. I'm sorry you couldn't be here, but we're gonna be drinking good whiskey in your honor. You bet. You better believe it. Cheers to you guys. Dan and Daniel. Slant you back to you. Cheers to you both. Thank you. All my best to Rex. Cheers. Don't forget your hat, Oh, I would have. Thank you. And Jeff Patron. Jeff, I thought that you might actually be there. But Jeff has uh, bought me a wee dram and just saying, uh, cheers, Roy. Jeff, let me know if you've actually uh, been able to make it there this year. Thank you very much for the dram. Oh, here we have it. We have, my God, you guys met. You managed to make the journey. Now, I happen to know 
who I, I'm looking at because I know Brian very well. I know Brian on the right hand side here. This is a uh, Brian, Brian Calavi or Kilco as we know him. But I happen to know um, the lady on your right, Brian, or on my left, is also a Calavi. Would that be correct? Hmm? Yes, uh, they've given me the moniker Mama Kilko. <laughs> and th does that feel okay? Are you happy with that moniker? Oh, sure. She loved it. Yeah. yeah. yeah I had cards it's made up, as a matter of fact. Yeah, cards. <laughs> I have another box right now. Now, Brian obviously has a channel. It's the, that's where the Kilko comes from. Kilko is his channel. And I believe that Kilko was once a gamer tag or something, Brian, right? If I, if I remember well, is that right? No, it's just it's a, a last name thing. It's like our last name starts with K I L L, so I just let's kill go. Got, got you. But you've this you've been to the, the vault before, you've been to the campus there before. But am I right in saying this is your first ball? Yes. Yes, see, and I I wore my bling too. Yes. <laughs> I feel Fantastic. a little dressed. Yeah. Next time I'm wearing a kilt because yeah, I yeah. I can really you know, I got the legs for it. You've got the legs for it. Well, you can wear my kilt in that case because I certainly do not have the legs for my own kilt. I really don't. I don't. Are you enjoying yourself, Mum Kilko? Yes, it's a beautiful day here. Uh, it's the first time I've had to sit down in like a few hours. But yes, it's wonderful. I still haven't gotten around all the tables yet, but that's next on my list. We got the tower tour. I got an ice cream. We got something from the food trucks. Do it. Do it. I saw a lot of friends that I met in person the last couple of days, so it's been really a great experience. Yeah, meeting all the channels has been amazing. Yeah. 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 to finally meet people yeah. face to face. Yeah. And then the goodie bag, they gave us this little glass so that you always have a glass to be hydrated with water. There's lots of water stations around. Ah, yes, yes. Right. Listen, I, I, I can tell that you're not a noob at this, right? Because that's everybody that's suffering and a little bit tender today. That's because they, they forgot about the water trick yesterday. Every time that you're passing water, every time that you have the ability to have a glass of water, fill up with water, especially in a warm, nice day like today. And for all that high-proof whiskey. So tell me, are you both drinking whiskey or are you just mostly enjoying the environment or are you here for some of the whiskey too, Kilco Mom? I'm, I'm the one who drinks. Mother does not drink whiskey at all. But Same I drink. sniff it. Yeah, she likes to I, smell I the whiskey. It and pretend it. Oh, it smells like gas gasoline. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it smells like gasoline. Did you that? I don't know why. I don't have that refined palate yet. Well, if, if you're not able to drink it, I know that there are a lot of people out there. My wife doesn't drink whiskey, but she very much likes to stick her nose and what to see if she can pick up any of the things that I'm getting. And invariably, she gets something completely different, which is a wee bit annoying. I think I think yeah. women are a wee bit better placed at picking out and defining things. They either have a better olfactory system or certainly a better, better way of labeling the memories. But but you're watching Brian then drink, aren't you? Are you monitoring what he's drinking or? Or are you just letting them have whatever? Oh, oh, we have a, a bell coming. So I think, remember, like Dave Dave on the channel hadn't had a drink for 50 years. I think Mom, we can get Mama no, Kilko no. to get a drink, right? <laughs> That's right. No, no, I'm, I'm an actress. I can pretend I'm drunk. Oh, I'm having a wonderful time We're here. Having a great time. Lovely people. It's so nice to be here with you. Yeah. But that, that in itself is the trick, right? Is to enjoy all those flavors, to enjoy the, the community aspect, to enjoy the people. And still keep that specter of being drunk at the door. That's what. That's the real trick. Yeah. And and that's when you've that's when you've hit pro status in whiskey is when you're able to enjoy yourself at a place like that with all that whiskey around, and still manage to be civil and at the end of the night and not feel too tender the next morning. Absolutely. So what do you have in the glass, Brian? What are you sipping right now? Do you remember? Oh, I, it's in the harbor here. I think mean, you got poured around earlier. I'm still sipping on that. Same as me, my friend. Same as me. Okay. Yeah, there are more bar flies buzzing yeah. around here. I, yeah. I, I keep on trying to swat them away, but they just won't leave. There's so many. You have no idea. Thank Listen, Brian, Kelko, Kelko's mom, uh, it's an absolute pleasure to see you. It kind of feels like we're sitting down getting to know each other a wee bit, right? But maybe next year you'll be there again. Nice to have met you both. Brian, it's always a pleasure. Cheers, my friend. <laughs> Lots of bath flies buzzing around. Suddenly, the idea of a, a lot of bath flies doesn't sound quite so appealing if they're buzzing. Let's get them sitting down in a seat. Oh, fantastic! Now, who do we have here? Now, on the on the left, do we have we have? Is it Greg? Yes, Greg Stag. 
Uh, now we've met twice before, at least I think, right? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And who do we who do we have on the right? I don't think we've met. Uh, my we? sister, Lauren. Hi. Oh, may, I think maybe we did meet then. Yes. Yes, like, yeah. yes we did. We have you been? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Greg. Have you been? Oh, I've been, I've been fantastic, buddy. Been fantastic, but I'm feeling a wee bit of cabin fever, as you can imagine, because travel really hasn't been a thing for so many of us in the last couple of years. But doing things like this is helping a lot. It really is helping a lot. I think, if I remember well, uh, the first year that we met could have been 2018. Uh, were you both there in 2018? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So is this your fourth ball, if we include the virtual one last year? Yes, fourth ball. Mm -hmm. You must live local. Tell me you live local. No, we live in Albuquerque. Oh, so wow. Hour drive for us. 12 hour drive. A 12 hour drive. Yes. <laughs> See, that that's actually the same amount of time as it takes me to get there. <laughs> that's quite incredible. It's quite incredible. And you obviously you're doing this four years now. You must be loving it. You love this must be one of your whiskey highlights, right, Greg? Yeah, absolutely love it. I wish you were here. Definitely to wish you were here. Celebrate with us, but I mean, I understand. I wish I was there too. I really do. Are you both there for the whiskey? Or are you there for the people? What brings you back? All Everything. Of it. All of it. Just the community, the whiskey. I mean, whiskey is the catalyst that brings us together. Definitely. Absolutely. But the yeah. thing, the memories that you take away, exactly. Yeah, you remember a couple of nice whiskeys yeah. that you had, but I think the thing that really wants to, to bring you back again is to have that sense of, of connecting, right, with people. With and, and it's crazy because a lot of the people that I meet when I'm out there or any whiskey event that I go to, it's people that otherwise, you know, we don't see, that we don't necessarily believe the same politics, we don't pray the same way, we don't eat the same way, we don't live the same way. And yet when we get together in an environment like that, through this, the love that we have for whiskey, we just get to enjoy each other for the people that we are. What, what have, you, have you got? Whiskey. Okay. I'm sorry? There are no strangers in whiskey. Were you there for that happening? I wasn't, but I heard about it. I wish I would have been there. Yeah, that's right. That's right. There are no strangers in whiskey. That was quite a moment. It was fantastic. And that happened there in Texas. Amazing. I might, I might share that story one day. You, you guys don't look like you've got anything in your glass. Uh, nothing at the moment. No. I'm trying to get something it. before, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you, you're probably in a place that's pretty easy to get a glass of whiskey, right? Yeah. Yeah. At least <laughs> in fact, really there might still be some harbinger floating around this very area. I don't know if it's been squirreled away. I need to jump in. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> but listen, uh, Greg, remind me, remind me your sister's name again. Sorry, Lauren. Lauren, um, I apologise, Lauren. Uh, we were talking, we were speaking earlier to to Bill and to Gregor, and they were trying to recall some of the people that we'd met, and they couldn't remember the names. And I said, look, this is a new mistake. You need to work really hard because everybody's going to know you, and yeah. you're going to need what's, to work really hard. Stranger? Roy, what's even stranger is his name is my name. That's right. <laughs> Yep. That's right. But I, when I saw you come in at a shot and I saw your face, Greg, Greg came to my mind immediately, but I second-guessed myself and I suddenly doubted it, right, because I've, I've had that, that happening. And it will happen again. No doubt it will happen again. Mm -hmm. Lauren, what an absolute pleasure to see you. Thanks for stepping oh, behind yes. the bar. Yes, and, definitely and so. Making yes, me feel a little bit yep. closer. Yep. I hope to see you next year. Yeah, next year. <laughs> uh, hugs and handshakes promised, okay? All right. <laughs> All right cheers. Cheers. You'll see you both. Go and get yourself some of this lovely harbinger if you can. Trust yes, you. So, Roy. Yes. I know you wanted to keep this to an hour, but I think there's a lot of people that want to say hi to you. Are you able to stay on longer? Um, I think there might be some other live streams going out. Is there anyone else going live? Do you know? No, no, you're good. You're, you're good. Yeah. They're all done. Scott already well, did that. You know, I'm, I'll continue going on. And if I get in, in any trouble or if I offend anyone, I get to blame Bill and, and Greg. Oh, who, who do we have? Hi, Roy. A barfly that wishes you were here. <laughs> uh, we've never met before. <laughs> and Bill freezes just a minute. Graham Fraser is asking, where exactly is it, the bastard ball? Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, hello. Hey. 
Oh, 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 yes. We gotta get this handsome fella in here. No, oh, look at look at man. We need to wait for a second here. We need to let the connection settle down a minute till we till we just take in the magnificence that we have on camera here. On the right hand side we have Erica. On on the left hand side we have Erica's other half. Now I remember your name, but I'm just gonna go with Erica's other half right now. But Ed, listen, I need to I need to congratulate you on bringing just when you think that all the formats and all the different takes on whiskey tube channels has been done, along comes the rock gut review and blows everything out of the water, right? I, and I actually, yeah. when I hear the word irreverent now, I think of Ed and Erica. <laughs> it's true. Really I got I that we're here. It's that like you're here wearing a shirt. I know, Surely. right? I'm I'm actually clothed for once. That's a weird that's a weird thing for me. I almost just jumped in that pool over there. Uh, we're really missing out on being here. Yes. I know. Uh, we miss you so much, Roy. <laughs> I know, I know, buddy. Listen, I, I know that we were there together. And, I dropped you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I, look, you've been you've been let you've been letting them drink too much. You need to be careful. <laughs> I got to meet you, you guys. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. well, I gotta say, I gotta say, you did send two excellent replacements this year. They're not quite as handsome as you, though. So we need the real thing. We need the real thing. That white is pretty damn good. I'm not even hands as handsome as that guy that's sitting in between you two. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Greg over here was busting my balls all afternoon about Rye. You deserve it. Thank you for being another kindred spirit. Yes. You have this, uh, oh, the Leopold Brothers is fantastic. Oh, it's so good. Oh, this, is, this is the Colorado whiskey, right? Leo, Leopold Brothers. What was that? This is the Colorado whiskey? Yeah, yeah, the three chamber rye. It's really good. It's it's like the cognac of, of rye whiskeys. It just develops. That's rude to cognac. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, it is amazing. And and actually, my favorite, probably my favorite of the bunch though, Talnua. Talnua is killing it today. Again, another another Colorado whiskey with but that's the fifty percent unmalted barley in there to make a kind of take on yeah. single pot still whiskey right? yeah 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 and so, you know what you have to do for me guys there's What's not that? much if i can't get texas whiskey in the uk i've got not much chance of getting this craft colorado stuff and if you're bigging it up and saying that it's the next best thing you need to try and steal and squirrel away for me is that possible i think we can make that happen try. we'll do our best <laughs> let's make that happen Anagans. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm more than happy. Hell, hell, I'll smuggle it over for you if you like. I I, I got no problem breaking the law. It's fantastic. Good on, on, on video. How many people are in the chat? Yeah, <laughs> all witnesses. How how? What chances are there of you two making it over to Scotland? Actually, kind of good. Yeah. So. Well, that's good because there are a lot of people that want to have a word with you about how to pretend to like Scotch. <laughs> so, can I just mention to anybody that hasn't seen it? If you go on to, if you go on to the Rock Gut Review channel, if you see Ed and Erica's channel, the first video. If you want to get a snapshot of what you're likely to experience on the channel. Uh, that I recommend that that's the video that you go and watch, and don't go there with a sensitive stomach or a sensitive, <laughs> yeah. or a sensitive yeah. sense of pride. Um, but it's none. I literally had to watch it two or three times because I was bleeding with laughter in between uh, each punchline, and I had to keep watching it again and again. An absolute oh. masterpiece of parody. Uh -huh. I absolutely loved it, and you know what? A lot of it was a wee bit like looking in a mirror at times, and I think it's good. To have that grounded perspective of the way that we all carry on around whiskey sometimes right whatever we're into have you have you pretty much kicked that to death now ed is there is there any plans of, of bringing any more of that have you done all the categories now i'm, I'm sorry one more time it's have a you done louder. that all to death now or have you covered all the categories or are the plans to do anything more in the series well there's there's we've had some requests to do indian whiskey yeah okay People, People want to see an Indian whiskey video, okay. and maybe, maybe a Taiwanese one. 
the only problem is the only problem is like those are those are harder because less less people drink them and so there's fewer there's fewer like tropes to make fun of right yeah fewer you obvious know, they're, tropes they're yeah. yeah let yeah. me ask you have you done one on texas whiskey <laughs> that's actually a fantastic idea that's but just remember you would have to probably use that cardboard cutout to return to next year's ball in disguise if you did do it <laughs> You just want us to burn bridges. This is actually. A <laughs> I mean, I mean, well, I do that naturally anyway. I piss well, people just by existing. <laughs> let Let me tell you that as a Scotch lover, if somebody that's completely I love all whiskey, but I'm completely grounded and most proud of Scotch more than anything, of course. And I watched that video several times, and I've recommended it to all my friends. Anybody that cares about humor, anybody that's guy that loves their whiskey and loves humor, I've sent that video to them, and nobody's came back feeling offended that was very well handled. Erica, and I, what am I going to raise a glass of with you guys? Let's let's raise a glass of the closest thing to scotch, I think, that I've tasted coming out. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. I've actually got a little Balcones pilgrimage right here. And what, oh, wait, wait. that's the pilgrimage. That's that's the cream-colored label, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 And what, what's the makeup of the pilgrimage, Ed? Do you remember? Right, I don't remember. Ancient right. sauterns. Oh, it's a sauterns, yeah. yeah. So it's a sauterns. They're, they're sauterns. Speak more language. Yeah. Like, bonus points for the word shite. <laughs> <laughs> what do we get out of that? <laughs> <laughs> Super, superb. Erica and, and, and Ed, cheers to you both. Thank you oh, so much. Cheers. We miss you so yeah. much. Thank, thank you. For you thank you for coming. Thank you for sending in, in virtual form. Yes. Oh. Hugs and kisses till next year, guys. All right, take care. Oh, cheers, man. See you later. You need to go to the Rock Gut Review and you need to watch uh, How to Pretend to Like Scotch. This thing work? Hey. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to struggle because I definitely recognize your faces, but I think the last time I saw you face to face, our vision might have been blurry a little bit, if I recall well. Would that be true? That would be true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I tried to recreate that experience last night, Roy. I was, um, I was definitely a bar fly. I was out there. Yeah. Of, did you, you jumped in with both feet, Mark. Is that what you're saying? Speed driving 101. Stick with me. <laughs> speed, speed driving. <laughs> you wore it proudly. <laughs> Now, we obviously, we know who we're looking at here. We're looking at 50% of the Scotch for Dummies from Indianapolis. I put out a Facebook <laughs> post earlier today. Let me show you something that I have. This is a uh -oh. from the past. We should blow this up so I can see. Uh, this, is, this is on, this is actually, well, I'll show you the bottle that it's on. If it focuses on that, you might see a wee face comes into focus. Can you see a face there? Oh, yeah. This is Ralphie. It's a Ralphie, Ralphie. bottle, but it's not yeah. Ralphie that's hanging around the top here. This is. Oh uh, yeah. You remember this? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. This is obviously this is a slice of a barrel stave. Uh, obviously, it's a bourbon stave. I think quite a heavy char on the inside there. Um, yeah. But these these were made by you guys, and you guys were able to put that into my hand when we met up in Scotland that day. Um, I've told the story a couple times today already that, you know, when we met you in Scotland, you were very camera shy. You wouldn't get on our, we were going to do a live stream and you were all about not getting in front of the camera. And now that's look. Right. <laughs> that's right. It's incredible because, I mean, the channel existed, but it was only pre-recorded content at that time. I was not um, envisaging live streaming to be part of it that early on. And you guys were getting um, getting comfortable with live streaming on Facebook and YouTube, etc. And I had brought some tech with me. I brought a, a mic along that day, and I, I knew that maybe it would come in useful. Um, but I had no intention of appearing on camera. But I remember, I don't think you had any idea of who Aquavite was when I turned up that day. You didn't know who I was. Or, but, oh, there's, here we go. We have another 25% another of Scotch for Dummies has just appeared. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, how are Wonderful you? Wonderful to see you, Andrew. You know, this is what I've been talking about. I've met Drew and I've met Mark, obviously, and we've we've told each other stories that's only appropriate for over the top of a glass of whiskey, okay? <laughs> yeah. so, but other than that, I still, when I see your face, Andrew, nothing is strange about it. <laughs> it's, it's, that, it's that sense, it's that thing that video does, I think. It does. It breaks down that strangeness. It makes us feel familiar with each other. You, this is your first ball for the three of you guys, right? This is your first ball. 
Yep, people right. are walking up to you now and saying things about you that makes you feel like they know you better than you do. Am I right? Yes, it's true. It's yeah, a little unsettling. A few, a few encounters. Well, that, that's why I was, I was just late to this because I was talking to a guy inside who appreciated the content that we're providing and I've um, learned a lot and he watches a bunch of other channels as well. And it's just, it, it, it's a community that he goes to and he just wanted to come up and thank us. And that's what it's about. Which is what it's all about. It is what it's all about. I mean, look at your, how many people do you have on? I can't see on the screen how many people you have on. We have 172 watching the three of you handsome gentlemen right now. <laughs> I, uh, well, I wouldn't go that far. But, but I mean, it, it's just a community, and there's there's so many. Yeah, right, Drew. Only you're, you only you're handsome. That's true. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Mark. Yes, it's community. Absolutely. Yeah, and so we love it. But this has been a fun time. Last yeah. night at the hotel was definitely interesting, and, and you're a little bobblehead that's been running around with Mark J. G. Yeah, <laughs> it's been all around. You've you've been represented well here. We've had some fun. I, I it really I can't tell you how how much it means it's really amazing because there's a there is a sense of distance creeping in and i was okay with it i i was pragmatic when i realized look i'm just not allowed to fly it's, just, it's not possible so i have to get my head around that but when the social media sharing starts happening right when you start to see those familiar sights and those happy faces and these things coming in you just know that you're missing a really good whiskey time and especially when andrew we've not met and i know that sean never traveled this time but maybe in the future you'll be able to encourage sean to come along that maybe doesn't or maybe don't need to, when is your thing happening in november november 12th and 13th november 12th yep yeah oh, okay. it's live Damn. on our tickets are live on our website now so right you're um, welcome to come you know that yeah, well, I, I was just about to invite myself, Drew. I'm actually I'm in, in Bath on the Friday the 13th, and no, on the 14th, and, and Bristol on the Friday the 13th. It's a Friday and Saturday, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I, I know I've got something booked that weekend, but I, it doesn't need to be a big arranged thing, right? When yeah. we met up and had that great time in Edinburgh, that was just you guys traveling and taking a, a, a bit of time out and a stopover, right? Oh, oh, man. That, that was an experience we'll never forget. Right? Never that was forget. I still have that picture of the three of us in the whiskey yeah. experience, you know, in that big whiskey room. We, had, we the three of us took a picture and I put it in a special uh, frame on my bar in the basement. It's still there. <laughs> oh, listen, guys, I love it. I, I know that we met up that day and I was planning on maybe a two hour visit, a, a quick look around a few shops and a dram or two in the bar. But I remember the phrase that you said that day when we met in the Royal Mail in Edinburgh. I said, how long have you guys got? And you, the, your phrase was, I have a kitchen pass. I'm here for the day. <laughs> that is exactly correct. That's right. And, and I, so I called my wife and I said, listen, I'm here for the day. So I just don't, don't be expecting. And I, and I left on the very, very last train I could that night. And I left you, I left you in that bar. And uh, we, had a, we had a fantastic time. Andrew, it was a good time. Uh, you know, I know that in the future it'll happen, hopefully, it and you it and Sean will. can get along too. I am so bummed when, it, when I see that you guys have made it down there this year. This is the first time you guys have made it down. It's just kind of, it makes it smart a little bit more. But it's wonderful to have you stepping behind the bar here. It's wonderful to see what you're doing. But I can I give you a up. tip? Can I give Cameron you a tip? A comment. I wanted you to pull up. I don't know if I can scroll. Yeah. I'm a Hoosier watching a Scotsman watching the Hoosiers who are in turn watching a Scotsman. <laughs> That's a, that's a good comment. That's a good one. I love it. It's a small world from, from Texas. Yeah. All for God. Where's, where's that comment from? Who's it from? That was one of your comments from Cameron Lochner. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. But you know what? There's another dummy here that I think wants to talk to you. So we're gonna throw that guy in here, and uh, and let him bring cousin Shane. Oh my goodness! Oh so one, my goodness! So one thing I want to say though, right? Which you already know is coming here and meeting people. We met you. We met. We know Scott pretty well in bar. But everyone else that is just like us. It's like you grabbed us from the TV or whatever you're watching on and pull us out in real life and you're seeing this you talk just like you said no one's strangers here even people we know that comment oh, Zach sitting right over there we've got people like that I mean it's like we're all family it's 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 yeah. really cool to see everyone be sociable that's that's what we miss the most out of this. 
It is, it is, it absolutely is, buddy. I know exactly what you're talking about. All of us feel it. It's really, it's really life affirming. It's a wonderful, we have to pinch ourselves because we ended up here. For some reason, we ended up here. And uh -huh. we've managed to build a community around this and things. People are willing to indulge what we do and we love them for it. And we get to really be part of something. But yeah. let's face it, in modern life, doesn't always come easy. But this, this is a special thing. I'm so glad to see the three of you there. I'm so glad to see the three of you happy. I'm going to raise my wee last bit of this. Uh, oh, no, well, this a miracle report for yeah. you guys. One, one of these days, I will get to meet you in person. <laughs> You're supposed happen. to be here. I know you got locked out of the country for what he calls COVID reasons, but we don't really know. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. take that from him. No, actually, the reason they kept the border closed is because they just knew how much craft whiskey I was going to be squirreling back home on this trip. <laughs> this guy's next to yeah. that. Next time. Hey, it's great to see you, right? We're going to get somewhere else in here. Good to see here. you, brother. Love your brother. I think there's more dialogue. All the best, Andrew. Thomas, All the best, Thomas, through. Thomas, All the best, Mark. Wonderful to see you guys. Cheers. Hi, Roy. Right. I just wanted to say hello. Oh, Emma, Emma, thank you so much. Thanks for stepping behind the bar. You star. Wonderful to see you here as well. We always miss. bringing a ray of sunshine to everything that's happening over there and i know how busy you've been over the last few weeks as well right oh, thanks yeah. for indulging me and you kept things as open as you could for me right to the last possible minute and sorry, I really, I can't hear you. sorry you kept things as open as possible for me right to the last very minute and you know you know how hard i tried to get there right yes i'm we miss you so much but the effort that he was going you know to try to be here is amazing yeah. Um, well, so the good, next the good. year, we will see you next time, and hopefully before then. <laughs> well, dare I threaten it, dare I threaten it here, that because I, when I cancelled the flights, I had to take the flights back in the voucher, so that, you know, it's credit with British Airways, there's a small chance that depending on how the next year pans out, that I may use those tickets a wee bit earlier than October next year, so we might be able to do something different. It would be amazing. Really hope to see you sooner than October next year. <laughs> me too. Me too, Emma. Well done, and thank you so much. Thanks for everything that you do. Yes. Thank you. And I believe I interrupted someone else coming on here, so I'm going to speed out. But I just really wanted to say hello to you. <laughs> I'm very, very grateful that you did. Thank you so much. Yeah. Have a great one. Bye. Until we get a hug and a kiss. Cheers, Emma. Thank you. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a whiskey hey, parade. Oh my god, this is the worst. How hey, you doing? So what we're what we're looking at here, I don't I don't think there's a lot of people going to be watching that knows who we are looking at here. You know, the ugly guy on the right, we know very, very well, but he's becoming <laughs> more handsome by the minute because of that fine beard he's grown out. And I think it's a celebratory beard, although I don't know how much I'm allowed to talk about that. So but the guy on the left. I have used him in a video to make friends of mine well up with tears. <laughs> you appeared on a video that redefined what, that in fact, something that can only happen on YouTube. We're looking at Shane, cousin Shane on the left hand side. We've got a fantastic video review by Scott and Bart on the Scotch Test Dummy channels. Hey, just you guys stay quiet a minute. I need to evangelize about this for a minute, okay? People need to know about this. I've evangelized about it in the past, but there are people out there listening in right now that have not seen this thing. It was a video of Glen Levitt 18, Scott, if I remember well. That was the, the review. And Cousin Shane turns up to interrupt filming, and he gets poured a glass in a paper cup, and he knocks it back like it's Coca-Cola, and all of these <laughs> kind of fun things. And Scott and Bart try and have this regular review while Bart's talking about choking on his own spit and all the amazing off-the-wall stuff that the Scotch Test Dummies are famous for, right? And then at the end, after the credit rolls, there's this line comes up saying, Cousin Shane can sing. And immediately I'm, I'm, I'm kind of clawing the seat and thinking, oh, cringe, we're going to get a guy just singing on a wiki video. What's this about? And then you sing, my friend. And I, it's, it's emotional. People need to see it. It is yeah. absolutely incredible. Bill, Bill Dull is, in, is he within earshot right now? Is Bill there? Yes. I showed you that video when we were together at my dining table, right? Yes, yes. And you, your mouth dropped open and you said nothing 
until he stopped singing. No, you yes. didn't say a thing. He was beautiful. Yeah. Yep, and it's that's that's all, that thing can only exist in the YouTube format. That's yeah. that's that yeah. spontaneity, that just amazing, amazing thing. Shane, that is why I'm so disappointed that I never made it this year because I, I was hoping to see you, Roy. <laughs> yeah, in person. Absolutely. Have you been singing at all while you've been there? I haven't yet, but. They keep threatening to make me do it tonight at the Queen Fest. <laughs> Somebody needs to either be recording it or be, be patching me in live. I need to be I need to somehow vicariously live that, my friend. That would have been amazing. The band is, is Crossfire. Is that still going? We, yeah, Crossfire. Is yeah, still Crossfire is still going. Uh, we had uh, we had a half a dozen gigs this year, and we had some fun. We got to get out. COVID didn't stop us, so it's been fun. Call that therapy, being able to sing in a microphone. Well, I tell you what I've done right now this second. While you've been chatting, I've managed to grab that link and I'm going to drop it in the chat. This is the Glenn Levitt 18 video on the Scotch Test Dummies <laughs> channel. Enjoy the review. Honestly, enjoy Shane coming in and enjoy the banter in the chat as they're relaxing together. But please stay till the end. But have if you're if you're prone to uh, emotional we I am a I am an emotional person. I get I get that kind of thing catches me just have a wee box of tissues handy because it is unbelievable i mean you look like a shane you look like a man's man to me you look like a like a like the kind of guy that you would you would call up to come down and hack down a tree that's that's bothering your neighbors that's the kind of guy you look at and yet you sing like a winged angel it's incredible <laughs> you're building me up too much you're building it up you're building i don't up. think i can overstate or oversell that thing i think it's amazing I, I, I talked to you, Roy, what was it, last, last week, Roy, when we talked, and you said, yeah, you got bad news, you're probably not going to be able to make it, and you wanted me to give you some good news, and I said, well, I got more bad news for you, because <laughs> you was going to get to meet Cousin Shane. <laughs> now you're not going to get to I, I, I'm still going to meet Cousin Shane. I'm going to need to get my ass to Wichita, Kansas, for it to probably happen, but I'll still, I'll still be able to meet <laughs> Cousin Shane, we have to have it happen. Shane, are you enjoying yourself there? Are you having a good time? It, this is amazing. This has been a good weekend. Uh, seeing the uh, Wizards Tower and uh, Wizards Academy and, and being in the vault last night and just being in the community. Um, La Quinta was crazy last night. I mean, there were so many bottles and so much to choose from. And so, I mean, it, I didn't realize it was this big of a thing. It, it's been a fun weekend. I'm glad I came. Yeah, you need to strap in because Scott knows from past experience that Matt Zittrick is one of the most generous and hardworking people in whiskey. And uh, tonight's not going to be any lighter on your liver, my friend, I'm afraid. <laughs> hey, Roy, do you recognize where they... Now, Bill and Gregor came, up, came out here and set this uh, little live stream up, but this is the same corner we live streamed from three years ago in August when it was 110 degrees out here in the shade. There's Absolutely. bad memory in this corner right here. <laughs> I remember it very well. It was in the exact same spot, that exact same. So on your, on, just off to the camera to the right there is the doors into Tuscan Hall. And yep. you're not too far from the, the entrance to the, the toilets, if I remember as well. Yep. right there. <laughs> <laughs> nice and handy. Scott, I remember it well. Buddy, I'm missing you. Can we talk about why you're probably celebrating a wee bit harder this weekend, or is that still... Yeah, no, just, well, uh, the fact that I retired uh, Friday was my last day. Yeah, so after 28 and a half years uh, with the Wichita Police Department and uh, glad to move on to the next chapter next at some chapter. point. Fantastic, fantastic. Yep. Well, let's. I've poured a little bit of Harbinger here. There's lots of great things I could pour to celebrate that, my friend. Um, I know that... Um, I knew that it was potentially going to be happening this year. I didn't realize it was going to be happening on Friday. So I know there's going to be a lot of people raising their glass to say cheers and wishing you well for the future and everything. But I would have loved to have been one of those guys. I would have loved to have been able to clink your glass and shake your hand and say, after 28 well, years, well done, buddy. You deserve it. Thank you. Whatever the future brings. A little, sigh, a, little, a little sigh of relief comes out every time I think about it. Fantastic. Listen, I know how bad those little sigh of relief from you smell. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry to drag it in that direction. I'll raise this glass. No, you're, you're, you're right, you're right. <laughs> I'm, I'm sharing a room with him. Yes. 
I think maybe that's one of the reasons why Bart didn't travel this time. <laughs> that could be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, was, that was something else. Scott, I wish you the very, very best, my friend. Congratulations on the retirement. And cousin Shane, huge hugs. Yeah. He's a guy. Uh, I hope lots of people drop by and leave a nice comment under that video. I'm going to put the link in again, buddy. And if yeah. you sing tonight, Scott, make a promise to me that I can somehow be a part of it. Wake me up in the middle of the night. I don't care when it is, okay? <laughs> you feel like maybe a verse right now? Hey, man, nothing? What do you want? I, I, what do you want? Give me something. I just can pull it out. You want to do the just a the little bit of hallelujah? He, he put the link in. Oh. Um, what's, a, what's another good one? Happy trails to you. We're in Texas. Until we meet again. Happy trails to you. I wish it would have been. There you go. <laughs> I brought weird shit. So stuff you might actually I probably like out. all that because I like weird Super, shit. Super, buddy. Super. Listen, I'll raise this glass and I'll say happy yeah, trails yeah. to you. And that when I hear you sing, when I, 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 I hope that it's going to be me sat next to you, buddy. Scott, it's always wonderful to see your happy, smiling face, my friend. I'm missing you. I'm missing the big guy as well. All the best to all of you and have a good time while you're Thank there. You. Strap in for tonight, Shane. It's going to be a cracker. Good night, my friend. Good night. Cheers. <laughs> Cousin Shane and Scott Bruno. So I, that would probably be a really great segue to uh, close out on with happy trails to you. But um, if you don't mind, there, there's at least one more person here who you saw the schedule that you're missing out on, right? Um, and all of the pre sort of stuff that the the YouTubers get to take part of. Yeah. And, uh, and the, all of the activities that take place at the La Quinta, um, which makes it more than just an afternoon event, but really a weekend. I know, I know who you're going to bring in now. Yeah, yeah. and he's, he's sitting over here, and he has done an amazing job of, or, you know, organizing. And oh my God, the barbecue we had last night at the La Quinta, the, the these rib tips uh, were just crack. They were, you know, you couldn't get enough of them. And in fact, I think uh, Gregor OD'd. At one point, so um, you would be on Texas barbecue. Yes. Vegas, so now, you? so if you don't mind, I want to bring uh, Matt, Matt, Matt Zetrick over. You have to bring on Matt Zetrick. You oh, have oh, to. Oh, yeah, awesome. Please. Here he comes. All right. Here. He, anyhow, <laughs> that cousin has something. Uh, hey, Roy, how's it going? Matt Zetrick, you star. You star. Ah, uh, Matt, you know the pain I'm going through right now. Hey, Sarah, how are you doing? We lost. Will went. I don't know where Will went. Who cares where you get more bacon? I, I got. I got. I got some time hanging out with Will a little earlier today. I got to see him oh, good. looking as handsome as ever. I think you must be trimming his beard, Sarah, because it's looking like a fine job of a beard right now. You must be doing that. I won't but let let's, him. Let, let's explain quickly. Uh, most of you guys tuning in know. I'll, I'll know that who we're looking at right now are Whiskey Crusaders, right? Well, Sarah, and obviously Matt. Matt's a trick here. But the first ever bottle I arrived at is the first time I met Matt Zittrick. And somebody said, listen, let me introduce you to Matt. We shook hands, Matt. And you were pulling boxes of whiskey around and setting something up. And I thought, is this going to turn into some big whiskey sale or something? And you said, oh, no, no, people are just bringing bottles to share, bottles to share. The second, I mean, we had a wonderful time. The second I saw Matt Zittrick and I met him in Texas, he was bringing like an airport luggage cart down the hallway that was so full of whiskey it was the weight of it was incredible he and broke was, the elevator yeah he broke the elevator the first yeah. yeah i'm only allowed to stay in the first floor la quinta from now on i'm not where, <laughs> anything else is a broken elevator i think i pretty much broke the carts last night the carts wheels are all deflated now from the cart from this year so yeah it's great so oh yeah, so there's going to there's going to be, have to be a lot more manual lifting well it's not like you don't have enough Welling, yeah, I think we have lots of beautiful whiskey folk to help, right? Exactly. Matt, yeah. Matt brings along his whiskey collection, lots of other people donate bottles, bring along their collection as well. And if I'm right in saying that this is all just open and free pour, everybody's sharing, right? Yeah, exactly. Everything's free. It's just, yeah. and like I said, we had amazing barbecue and shit last night. So, yeah, yeah and Gregor, I think and we there is Gregor. Is it? I never needed to convince Gregor about my, the thing that the channel is founded on it's not whiskey until it's shared. 
because right. when you sit in that environment last night and when you, you're going to be doing it again tonight, it's mm -hmm. a perfect example of that very thing. There's a right. There's a yeah. there's a scale. There's a scale of sharing that I knew yes. prior prior to coming here. Is it, did he say in Texas? Right. Here in Texas. Exactly. So the, de the the definition of the level of sharing took a whole nother level last night. I have never seen a hotel cargo cart like a luggage <laughs> cart full of bottles from someone for everyone else to enjoy. Insane. Yeah. Yeah. Positively insane, quite insane. That's, yeah, that's, why, that's, why, that's why I call him the most generous man in whiskey. And, oh, and, it's, and also, also yeah. the, the hardest working as well, because you have these little packs of samples that you've curated for people in advance. And, because you know that we can't all drink it there and you want to share so much of it that you want right. us to have takeaway joy as well. Yeah, exactly. man, it, it's beautiful. It's like everything that we experience when we get together there. It's just another example of this yeah. amazing thing that we all get to take part in. It's it's truly a privilege. And you know how I'm, it's not about the amount of whiskey I could drink when I'm with you. It's not about the amount of um, a, a wonderful new experiences I can have with this exclusive a bottle of this, that, or the next thing. It's about right. just raising a glass of whatever you put in my hand, my friend, Absolutely. and just being able to look you in the eye and say, thank you for what you do. It's um, always something good. Yeah. yeah. Are you having a nice time today? We are having a great time. Or are you yeah, saving yourself for tonight? Both. <laughs> yeah, we both drank it here probably like an hour and a half ago. So yeah, gotta, gotta, good. Gotta, gotta save up for La Quinta. Yeah, I got to stay up until 5.30 in the morning making sure La Quinta was clean. Didn't even know we were there last night. So completely cleaned out this morning. No one knew we were there. That's exactly the way you need to do it because you want to be welcomed back again, right? Exactly. exactly. Yeah, management's been really good, so they were happy with it. They're like everybody's been really nice, so it's been good. That sounds wonderful, and I think that whole thing that when we talk about Texas and Austin, the basketball and everything, it's almost the La Quinta has become an institution in itself. It's a phenomenon. Oh, totally. And, and it's all based on sharing, and that sharing has all come from somebody leading by example, and that is Whiskey Crusaders and it's Matt Zittrick. It really is. It's fabulous to see. It's yeah, this is between everybody's stuff is like three, four hundred bottles now at this point. It's, it's out of control. <laughs> more and more every year. It's like, okay, can we get, we, we drove by last night like, there's a lot of people in here. It's like, yeah. holy crap. So we went around to the other end of the hotel to come on the back side. You could smell the barbecue and hear the people from the lobby on the other side of the hotel. Yeah. That people were in there. It's fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. Is, is the barbecue there tonight or was that just last night? Barbecue was last night and last it, was, night. it was gone in 50 minutes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, like, yeah, you're not kidding. This stuff is the best barbecue ever. Yeah. So we didn't lie. He's like, next year, we'll bring even more barbecue oh. because clearly people really liked yeah. it. He's already making it wasn't plans. even enough. We, we prepared for 100 people, but it still wasn't enough. Yep. Absolutely. Bill, Bill likened it to the food equivalent of crack. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It really is. Absolutely superb. Listen, guys, so wonderful to see you. I'm so, so sad. Uh, all the best yeah. to Will. I, I, I got a I think chance to speak to him earlier. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I, it's I've yeah. managed to I've sent a, a, some yeah. fantastic um, representatives in my place in the shape of yeah. Yeah. Bill, right? Uh, yes, hopefully, yeah. I know that you'll be looking after them, guys. I know that you will be, and they'll really, really appreciate oh, yeah. it. And uh, let me let me um, assure you that I will make up for it next year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Dittrick, the most generous man in whiskey. Sarah, well, Whiskey Crusaders, thank you both so much. So right. lovely to see you behind the bar. So nice right. to welcome you here. Cheers to you both. Cheers, Roy. Cheers, Roy. Loving all the best, guys. Cheers. Right. Awesome. Absolutely amazing. This is incredible. I've, I feel like I've um, not been able to hang out with all the beautiful whiskey folk and dedicated barflies and potentially magnificent bastards that are tuning in on the side as well. Gregor. Have really things started to quieten down? They have, but there's some interesting characters around still, so I wouldn't call time yet. I would maybe charge your glasses again. And that's no problem. That's no problem. As long as you don't think that I'm going to be stepping on other people's toes who are trying to get a live stream. No, out no, no, not at all. Not at all. What I'll do is I'll try and speak really loudly so that 
the person I'm trying to catch the eye of might might lock eyes, but he's wearing sunglasses, so that might not happen. Um, Bill Bill needs to just throw his body into the fray. Okay. Zach, Zach, go and get go and get the guy with the tube sock around his. There we go. Oh, I th as soon as you mentioned tube sock. Here we go. I mentioned tube sock. I mentioned tube sock, so you know who's coming in. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you had me two thoughts. What's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, love, I love, oh my goodness, you've repurposed it as a whiskey Glencairn lanyard. Yeah, and you keep score too. You got a tally of all of your moochings. Oh no, this is perfect. This is perfect. So as if we, did, just show us that a wee bit closer. Let's, let's see that, what, how you've done. This is you cut out a specific spot. Honestly, I've been all over the place. It does not spill. It's beautiful. So nice. in case anybody needs any reassurance, of where the creativity that we see on screen is coming from. <laughs> That's a generous jankiness is the word. Where the jankiness jank is that it? So tell me, tell me. I know that we've talked, we've touched on this in the past, Rex. Um, I know. I mean, you guys work so so hard. Anybody that's involved in a putting content out there on Whiskey Tube knows how much effort's involved in it. And it's not just about the, the raw cutting and making the thing. It's coming up with ideas and the content and everything. And you guys are like a machine now. You're just constantly putting it out. Do you feel <laughs> that when you're sat there now, is this downtime? Is this relax for you? Or are you still kind of, is the adrenaline kicking in and taking over? Are you able to uh, enjoy this? Oh, yeah, I can enjoy it uh, for one very specific reason. We now have a lot of other people to do all the real work yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and to worry about everything. Yeah. So yeah, we just show up and hang out and have fun. And uh, yeah, it's great, man, we love it. I have to thank you, and this comes from Ralphie as well, not just from me, I have to thank you and Daniel both for getting on board and supporting the Oswa initiative as well. And of course, that the Oswa, the S, and that is for Scotch, Scotch whiskey, that's the Scotch whiskey community there. And we hope that in the future, other uh, communities like the bourbon community, Canadian whiskey, Japanese, whatever it is, are able to put their own initiatives forward as well in a yeah. similar platform. Yeah, but, I, I think it's a great idea. It's very cool. It's something that should have been around forever. So I'm glad yeah. you guys have taken the initiative. And I look forward to seeing what it turns into. Well, uh, it's, we couldn't do it without the support and not just the support, but the enthusiastic support from all the channels. It's just another example, Rex, of this wonderful environment that we live in. I often feel, I don't know who it is I have to thank for being part of this. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's Ralphie. You know, he was one of the originals, right? Maybe it's you guys now. You've shown just how big a scale this thing can actually achieve. Um, but whatever it is, I'm just glad to have a little part in it every now and again. It's one. Well, don't, don't sell yourself short. Mm -hmm. You are a yeah. critical component. You are, I think if there was a channel, if there was a personality that best embodies the spirit of everything happening on Whiskey Tube right now, I got a point to Roy. And yeah, you're doing a fantastic job. And I very much wish you could make it this year, but I understand obviously why you couldn't. But I look forward to seeing you here in the coming years. Rex, it's, it's wonderful. Thank you very much for your kind words. It's difficult for a Scotsman to hear words like that and know how to <laughs> behave and accept them gracefully. But I'll say thank you and raise a glass instead. And I think you know as well as Daniel, as well as uh, uh, Emma and all the team there, and Alan and everyone, I think they know how hard I tried to, to get, no, sorry, not Alan, Peter. And they know how hard I tried to get there. Um, and it was literally down to, I was not allowed. It was nothing to do with anything else. I was moving uh, mountains. <laughs> But, buddy, next year, and if it isn't yes. next year, it'll be even sooner than that. Rex, thank Absolutely. you for everything that you do. Thank you for spending a wee bit of time behind the bar. I look forward to raising a glass Cheers with you. Cheers. Cheers, Rex. Thank you very much. Cheers. 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 You guys have fun. Cheers. I want a tube top. What you didn't see there, Roy, Rex is walking around with a T-shirt that says volunteer on the back. You know, that speaks to his humility. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Don't Fantastic. Let me that is fantastic. Somebody else here. I'll step out. <laughs> oh, who do we have here? Now, that's a familiar face. Who's this? You may not remember me. Um, I am a bar fly, but I don't get to be on just as much just because I'm a grad student. And so, um, no, you know. I do remember you. Are you your name Andrew? No, it's Dakota. Dakota. Oh, my goodness. So, so this, I had a list. Yeah, <laughs> of people that I knew was going to be there. Sure. We are sad not to meet. Dakota Hampton. 
Yes. Ben Andrews, Ben right. Stahl, that Ben was on, Tom Elmer was on, uh, Nathan DeKinga and Mark Goins. So there you go. There's, there's only one name left on that list that I haven't met. Dakota is so nice to... Did we got to meet them? Did we meet in 2019 or...? No, this is my first... Um, this is my first Bastards Ball I've ever been to and I was so looking forward to meeting you. And so oh, I was no. so disappointed when you couldn't be here. Um, I got to meet Flatroy though, so I guess in, uh, on some level yeah. that was a bit of a uh, recompense for, you know, what was going on. Well, let's be honest, every time that you've seen Roy up until this point, I've been pretty two-dimensional anyway, right? On, <laughs> on some kind of flat screen, right? The thing is, is that um, I, what I did, I made a wee bit of a mistake, Dakota, and I'll, I'll apologize for it now. I got, when the Vesta was approved, I got really excited and announced that I was going to be there, right? So yeah. you, would have, you would have picked up on that and you would have picked up on my excitement to go. And it was only in probably just over a week before that I realized everything started to fall apart and I realized that I was probably not going to get approved and I was eventually denied for flight purely because the border has not yet opened. That's mm -hmm. what it's about. Anyway, we've, we've kicked that to death and it is a shame, buddy, it is a shame. But yeah. we do get to do wee nice things because of the modern technology and because of this amazing YouTube platform that we all enjoy. So you're able to sit there behind the temporary bar there and over uh, on the campus there and you're, we're able to speak to each other and say, Aye, we never made it this time, but there will be times in the future. It's not cancelled, my friend. It's only postponed. Amen. Dakota Hampton, it's really lovely to put a face to the name. Absolutely. It's Can fine. I... To... Sure, go ahead. Where did you travel from? So I traveled from New Haven, Connecticut is where I came from. And... Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I know that it's not as far in terms of miles, but it's far enough. And when you're getting on a plane and getting off a plane, you know, the time in between is almost insignificant, right? It's just, it's a significant journey for you to have made as well. Sure. I hope, are you staying at La Quinta? No, I'm not. I'm actually at an Airbnb with uh, another bastard, one of my friends that uh, I went to grad school with. So he's from the area. Beautiful. Are you able to make it to La Quinta? I made it to La Quinta last night and I tend to be there tonight. <laughs> wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Because it's all part of it. It's all wrapped up into the same big kind of, wonderful whiskey whiskey folk mess i hope you really really get to be a part of it and enjoy it to the point yeah. that you'll consider traveling again next year and then maybe you and i'll be sitting on that little wooden bench together my friend what do you think about that <laughs> that would be amazing i look forward to it dakota thank you very much for your support thank you for being a bar fly for so long yeah. it's nice to see you my friend yes thank you guys dakota hampton Zach Andrews, I met earlier, he had much, much longer hair, Ben Stahl, Tom Elmer, Nathan Dekinga and Mark Goins, so it's only Nathan is the only guy uh, on that wee list that I discovered. There's going to be a lot of folk out there, Bill, that know you. You must have been yeah. spotted from the Magic of Isla video, perhaps, or... Or from that when I did the uh, feed on the... The club thing on the club B-Pub, club right? So, so we mentioned the whole weekend and... Um, probably saw on, on Friday, you know, we got here and uh, Eric Waite was doing a, a live feed and we were able to jump in on that. And, I caught uh, it. Say hello, say hello to him. He's sitting over here on the corner too and wanted to jump in and say hi, if that's okay. I know I know we're going way past your hour time limit. I hope the barflies don't mind. Um, but I don't know, are they dropping off like 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 flies or are they uh, hanging in? Absolutely not. Listen, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's a Sunday evening. That's the good thing about the VPUB. If it's, if it's too late for anyone, they can pick it up on the replay. Um, and if you've if you've got Eric Waite hanging about that wants to come in and say hello. Would you he, like, he's, would, he's been waiting very patiently. Oh, <laughs> would you like a mobile view of what's going on at the same time, Roy? That would be amazing. If your connection can hold up, I noticed okay. we practiced it earlier and, and it was a bit patchy, yeah. but if you if you just tune in on the same link, I'll try and draw draw up and if we see anything, when is the when is the closing ceremony? And not to six, I think, right? I, well actually uh, Rex when he came by said something about he's got a buddy who's a comedian who's gonna come on at six fifteen. Yeah. So it might be over more or up like seven tonight. So yeah, forty five minutes. So you it might be some interesting whiskey humor coming up at some point tonight. <laughs> Okay, right, Roy, Roy, right. there's going to be somebody calling in, uh, mobile, I'll just keep walking around, no interaction, you guys can chat, maybe just put a three-way oh. on the screen. No problem, no problem. I mean, I guess that if you mute the mic then, Gregor, but keep your audio on, and then if I if I want to connect with you, um, I might be able to. Does that sound okay? Yes. I'll look out for you dropping in. Here he is. 
My man, my man from California, my man from, now, where are you now? You're in Sacramento or somewhere. You've moved again. No, right? no, 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 no. I moved uh, westward. I'm now in the Sonoma County, living right off the uh, Sonoma Wine Trail. So drop about 20, 30 degrees in the middle of summer. Very, very cool. I'm about 10 minutes from the ocean. A nice cool fog rolling in in the morning. Cools off the grapes, get the acidity up. Then the sun comes in right around 10 o'clock, clears out the fog, and we get our acidity. Oh my goodness! Here we have, here we have, we have. Yeah, I would like a double double animal style with yeah. a large fry. Get it. Wait, no. we have it's forty. Per, we have forty percent of its bourbon no, night on screen right it. now. <laughs> Where's the other sixty percent? Come on. Right here. There's so nothing. anyway, so if I can't live in Scotland, I'm gonna live in the wine country. So I'm in the second best is. place to live in the world. Hey. There you go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. If you can't that. live in Scotland, you're gonna live in, in the wine country. In the wine country. In the wine country. Oh. So I'm in the second best place. I like that. Choice number two. You. We have better weather, but not as much. <laughs> not but worse whiskey. <laughs> we just wanted to come say hi. We miss you, Roy. We yeah, miss I miss you guys too. I miss you guys too. With your head cut out. Up here. Oh, that camera. Oh, okay. that's the camera. Oh, there you go. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's listen. I, I'm, I'm. I was really. I saw some photographs. It was getting shared by Gregor. Gregor and Bill have done a really great job of sharing lots and lots of pictures and everything. And I saw you guys just hanging out and chilling. And I saw Chad walking around with his big red camera and he's strapped around his neck and things. And I thought, yeah, that's right. <laughs> And I thought, my goodness, it's just, it, it's when you see just how many different people are there, that's when you realize it's its a very efficient way for us to get our whiskey on and our collaboration on and our connecting on, right? It's all going to happen over the same couple of days. Are you guys staying at La Quinta? Uh, we not just, this year. Not this year. We're visiting right. La Quinta. We just have an Airbnb this year. And I stayed yeah. here on campus, actually, uh, this year in the student housing. Oh, nice. So, yeah, it was very yeah. nice. But you're, but you're making it. You're making it down to La Quinta, right? Yes, we were. Yeah, we were at La Quinta last night. And I'm in bed by nine o'clock. He I'm said, "No." <laughs> <laughs> I go to bed early. I'm Can't old. blame you. I also would like to be in bed by nine o'clock, yeah. but the universe said no. <laughs> there you go. The universe said no. The <laughs> didn't say hi. Yeah. The West so universe thing, said no. So well, something I said. Well, something I said with Daniel last night is, I'm glad this is called, you know, the Bastards Ball and not the Goodbye Chat. And not the, not the whiskey ball or the whatever whiskey tuber ball anything like that. It's the it's about the magnificent bastards, which is it's a focus on the people, not on the whiskey. The whiskey is just a conduit. I know I'm preaching your message. The whiskey is just a conduit. It's just something we have in common. It's something that brings us together, despite whatever philosophical, religious, ethnic, national, whatever linguistic. Uh, you know, you say garage, garage. I say garage. You know. You see controversy, I see controversy, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, but, uh, but it's just okay for you to be wrong, Eric, it's fine. <laughs> so, so, so it's, but I like that it's titled that because that's ultimately, it's really, really uh, uh, about, and this is proven by the fact that we still have this connection here as people, even though you can't be here, you know, sharing personally, uh, you know, something from the glass, um, because it really is about the personal connections uh not about the whiskey in and of itself that's just something that's the the glue that's just the glue that brings us together you that's know right. that's my poor my poor well, you, must, you must have visited scotland a couple of times that was a good yes night, yeah. i've been hanging out with I'll go one further than that and i'll say that the, the the event that you're enjoying at the weekend here is that it's almost like a manifestation or like a, a quickening of the thing yes. that we enjoy on on youtube on our whiskey tube because all of what you've talked about, those dynamics exist every day, every time, every day in the channel and the comments and the feedback, you know, this kind of, this bi-directional loop that we have, it's not just us yeah. dictating, it's us learning from the community yeah. as well, us sharing yeah. on a very peer-to-peer -peer yeah. level as hobbyists, as enthusiasts. And when, when that comes together into an in, in real life environment that you're enjoying there, yeah. it, it really does just yeah. solidify that and send home the message. Anybody that didn't realize it, goes to an event like that and they immediately pick up on the vibe and everybody feeling grateful for for being part of it so this is sort of a concentrated version of what we're already doing on our whiskey tuber channels this is just more of a concentrated uh reflection uh, of that and um really really enjoy it you know i, I posted something earlier about you know this quote from the song working man 
I almost didn't come here because I was so busy work. I got so much stuff to do, but you know, there's a difference between existing and living. And I had to say, you know what? Work will be there when I get back to it. And there's always more shit to do. You got to take a time out. Things that really, really matter in life. And spending time with people that you want to spend time with and, and joining a dram. And take a little respite. Uh, and that's, for me, that's what's really, really about. It's making this reconnection with people, but also just taking a breath from the rest of life and enjoy something, you know, that's a gift in life, which is a, a, a wee dram. All of those words you've just shared, Eric, makes me wish that you were sat here right next to me, buddy. And it won't Thank be you. too long. It won't be too long before it happens again, my friend. Yeah. I've got a nicer space to bring you into now than the last time you were here. But we will, um, when you do come along, we'll make the absolute most of it. Absolutely. Star Eric Waite, I know how much it means to you to be there as well, my friend. And it's nice to see you enjoying it as well. Are you going to try to do the tour now? Or? Yeah, so so I think our man on the scene has uh, made, it, made it out there into the oh, field. There, oh, there he is. Oh, this is terrific. So what, what, I'll try and pull this There's up. Field screen. Hey, look at that guy. Yeah. There so they, you, we're looking down at Eric and Bill sat in the corner. That's Tuscan Hall in the background there. And we have the fountain right in front of us here. And we can see the shadow of Gregor. Please try and keep your camera as smooth as you can. You need to be Gregor, the human gimbal. I don't <laughs> know if he can hear Keep that camera smooth. <laughs> he should be able to listen to me. He just needs to mute his microphone. Okay, he's, try he's trying, but he's... Uh you know you can see he's walking very steadily and slowly and it's a little jittery but you can yeah. see so this is the main courtyard and what they've done this year because of the sun is we've got all these gazebos up and everything that's a really good idea because it can be searing hot out on that patio area there it's it gets very very warm out there and to the left is the other entrance into tuscan hall and this year all the youtubers had tables inside tuscan hall so they were off to that building in the left um, and we, we just, uh, because we were going to be doing the live stream, we thought it'd be more comfortable to do it from that bench outside. Um, so here, here we have the, the main gathering, and this is where you'll have the opening ceremony out here, and you'll have the, clo the closing ceremony as well. Um, fantastic to see, and I guess that under those gazebos, it looks like we may have the stellars. It looks yes. like we've got the stellars tables. Is that right? Yes, yes. That's where Balconis is and um, Iron Root, Iron Root, Real Spirit, yep. uh, Still Austin, uh, Lone Elm, Andalusia, Andalusia, uh, Leopold. Um, and it, it looks to me, I want, have they limited the numbers this year or have they just spread out more? I don't know if, it, if they intentionally limited it or just naturally less people just came <laughs> yeah you know, that was fancy dan yeah. but you know there's also people that are up at the vault uh getting tours of the vault right now right. and there's people that are up at the uh fang and feather that are um hanging out up there there's a guy who's uh, got uh, cigars that have been aged in one of their eleanor barrels or something like that um up there and people you know so there's people are spread out all across the campus and you know as, as much as uh, gregor's walking around you have, you know, it's still very hard to get a, a sense of the scale of this place and, and all the different things that are happening here. Uh, yeah, up you know. to the tower, across to the distillery, the Fang and Feather, the Welcome Center, um, you know, the, the accommodation that they have there, the chapel as well up the hill. Yeah, the scale of the campus is, is big. It's, it's a huge, huge place. So there's a lot of people spread out. And plus, we're getting towards the end of the day, too, right? Right. You know, it's, uh, so. But, but I did hear it was less uh, hectic than last right. last last time, which may yeah, just be. Yeah, I mean, it may, just, it, it may be they've been able to spread out quite a bit more. I think that that's where it looks like they've made the use of all of that space there. And well, um, I think having it on a Sunday is a bit of a challenge because some people have to go to work on a Monday. I took Monday off from work, so some people may be a challenge because of work. Right, right. Of course, yeah, of course, yeah. I, I'd, I'd always imagined it was a Sunday previously as well, but you could be right, Eric. Was it a Saturday before? Uh, it was a Saturday before. So I would fly on a Friday, have the event on Saturday, and then fly home on Sunday. So I took a day off on Monday from work in order to fly home. Amazing. So what we'll try and do, what we'll try and do is we'll tune in. We'll tune in again if uh, if Gregor makes it a, a bit further up. Maybe he could take us across the car park and show us uh, the, the Wizard Tower and things. And, and, and get so you like to say it's really nice. Really nice to meet um, Bill and share uh, Roy stories. 
<laughs> Shout oh, out no. to your viewers. We're burning our stories, so now I'm nervous. Steve A, Steve A is saying, uh, Eric uh, Aquaviti, you have the imposter. The real Eric Waite has a beard. <laughs> what, have you decided just to, did you have to shave it for work or did you just no, decide to say it? It was. I kind of like the look of it for the yeah, people are going to be talking about for years about my about my beard. It's going to be the Eric Eric White beard studies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, man, I make I make one little. If I lose some weight, people are going to start talking about how much I lose weight or gain weight. But uh, um, you know, I start a new house, new job, new work, new everything. Uh, I actually never liked the way it felt, so I shaved it off. That, that's the short of it. Um, I kind of like the way it looked in the videos, but I never liked the way it felt. Fantastic. I mean, it's it's one of those things that, you know, if you look at Daniel and Rex and so many other people, and you, you just get used to them changing their hair and their beard and things, and it just becomes, it doesn't really become a big thing. I think what happens is that when somebody does a jarring thing, like suddenly grow a big beard, and then suddenly get rid of it again. I think that's when. And it then it was on my icon and the image for the channel. So that well, that's what I was just about to say. You need to keep changing your branding for your yeah. different image. If you use your face as part actually, of your branding. And actually, <laughs> the logo I have now is the one that you made. Now it's black and silver, or black and white, rather than red and gold that I had before. But anyhow, back to the old baby face. So I lost five years, but uh, gained a chin in removing the beard. So now we know why he lost his beard. What you had to do was get himself back so that he could use back it up a little bit this branding yeah. again once now we're back to that yeah yeah scratch for dummy say i look like a james bond villain that's right <laughs> one wonderful stuff oh, amazing jg is saying eric Waite beard studies <laughs> yeah. and here, here we have gregor up at the fang and feather which is the bar and the tasting room up there let's pull this back up so we can see it this is a cool building as well with the terrace and the patio outside, all the deck outside. Um, people having cigars, people taking drams. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> just great to see. The connection is obviously just a bit choppy, but it's fine. You can get a sense of the, the place itself. And you get the weather, it's amazing, guys. You've done well for weather, right? Yeah. I brought it with me from California. Yeah, super. Yeah. Brother Scott. Scott's been busted, <laughs> hanging out, having some milkshake. <laughs> well, you know, there's food trucks and there's a like an espresso bar truck that pulled in, a little van. Yeah. Scott, I think Scott's gearing up for tonight. Some coffee. Amazing, amazing. And here's the staff. <laughs> But it's, it's, it's a bit like stop frame animation. I don't know if it's looking the same to you guys. There's that's maybe the chapter six. It could be there, but it's in that bottle. That's the one that I've got on the go here. Yeah, it's it's uh, it is stop frame. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we still get a chance to see the building. Listen, Bill, I need to I need to say a huge thanks to you, buddy. You're there to enjoy yourself. You're there to let your hair down. You're there to just relax a bit, and you end up putting in a shift for everyone. I have to say that a lot of the comments coming in has been grateful. There have been people saying that very thing that uh, Gregor and Bill have done a sterling shift for us. Eric, you hosted them on Friday night as well. I caught that in the stream yeah. as well. That was nice of you to welcome them in and make them a part of it. I loved seeing Bill and, and Gregor relaxing and enjoy themselves when they were over there. And I know, I, I mean, I, I know I've been going on and on about how you know I miss it and I wish I was there and things. But it means a lot that you guys have been able to go. This is the first time you and Gregor have met face to face, right? right. And just to see the two of you, you're sharing a room together, my goodness, and getting on. But I never for a second had any shadow of doubt that that would be a successful thing because I've, buddy, I've, I've, I've loved and known you almost 30 years of my life now. And uh, I know I knew that you and Gregor would go on great. Um, he's awesome. So he's great. So yeah. Gregor actually and I live in, even though he lives in Oregon, we're in the same time zone. Oh, here's the tower. Sorry, sorry, Erica. You, I'm going to let you continue, but I'm just going to click the tower. This is the walkway up past the the, the lions towards the tower. Uh, go ahead, Eric. So Gregor and I are in the same time zone. He's up in Oregon. I'm and you know in California. So we're actually talking about maybe. I will see what happens. Uh, him being the occasional guest on my channel and help co-host uh, live streams and stuff on, on my channel. Uh, just make sure it doesn't breach any out. of the contract agreement that he has in place with Aquavite, okay? Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at that. I mean, that that you guys have been up and you've taken the tour of the tower, right? It's it's 
Uh, it looks almost Disney-like, doesn't it? When you wish yes. upon a star, you know, and last night, no difference who you are. Yeah, in fact, I think um, it's the, the lyrics on the on the ground there as you walk up is the impossible dream. Yeah, yeah. Here it's here. We'll see it here. If, I, if my memory's right, there you go. Dream. This is my quest to follow that star, no matter how hopeless, no matter how far. To fight for the right without question or pause, to be willing to march into hell for a heavenly cause. Ah, it's a great song as well. Superb. And if Gregor holds that up, you might be able to see the sword at the top of the building that lines perfectly up with the North Star at night. So there's a sword. That's what I was going to say. You know, we were there last night at the vault day. We invited all the, 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 the YouTubers up there and... Uh, the view and the sky, and the sky, the night sky was just fabulous. It was really Stars, beautiful. Yeah. 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 Really surreal, to be honest. And there's little Easter eggs everywhere around. Artworks, statues, stories behind everything, right? Yes. And he's, that's him heading inside the, the tower now. And the original whiskey vault is actually just up there to the right, and the newer whiskey vault is just a wee bit further off to the right, isn't it? <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. yeah. That's a picture of Rex right there. Yes. <laughs> I see the resemblance. Yes. <laughs> all it needs is all, is a, all, is, all it needs is a tube sock for us to to know for sure. <laughs> and Falsgraf is, is thanking everyone who helped give a glimpse of the bastard's boss to us humble foot soldiers. Um, <laughs> this is so stupid it's, and so great, he's saying at the same time, welcome to America, says a European who has never been there. Falsgraf, I know you're in Germany, probably you'll get a chance to make it across. And Jimmy Legg is suggesting that that portrait wasn't actually a portrait, but it was, it was in fact a mirror that Fergen was looking at it. <laughs> Superb, and that's that's him heading. I think that's him heading back down to us now. Fantastic, well done, Gregor. Keep an eye on it there. Listen, guys, this has been amazing for me, and it's filled my curiosity. It's filled my. It's emptied the, the space I had left vacant when I had that denial, the permission to fly denial. It's been great to be able to see y'all and hang out. Of course, I'd love to have been at the La Quinta last night. I'd love to have been eating all that food with you and traveling to the stores and doing the, the all the excursions and the extra activities that you've had. I'd love to have spent my time with you there this afternoon and be looking forward to hanging out with you at La Quinta tonight. But it will happen next year. It will. And I bet that Eric Waite will be there. I bet that Absolutely. Bill will be there. I found my pants. <laughs> Your trousers. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I can get them back next year. I wonder. I think we might even get get uh, Gregor back there. Gregor is not really a bourbon drinker, but I think with a bit of a bit of guidance. Oh, he's giving us a thumbs up. Fantastic. I think with a bit of guidance, I think we might get him back again next year, especially if uh, we were able to go. The three of us, right? And uh, Graham Fraser is saying, pass on our thanks to Bill and Gregor. Yeah. And bring one, Vin one, with you. I'm sorry. And bring Vin with you. Well, yeah, well, Vin was Vin was totally up for coming as well. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Gregor. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gregor. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. That's the throne, the royal throne of. Yeah, it's exactly actually looking royal looking cleaner than these things can can often look. I think look. that's the one he used. Yeah, <laughs> might have been Donald Pass Whiskey Tim. Showing off. Thanks for getting us Showing all his world. creations. Hel Hellswood, Helen is saying thanks for the impromptu V Pub. Get, listen, Helen, I'm sorry to you and everybody that's hanging out tonight. I feel like I've spent all my time speaking to the guys over the pond and less time talking to you guys. I hope you all understand that's okay. She's saying cheers to Bill and Gregor for all the flavor of the Bastards Ball. Good night to all the magnificent bastards and our wonderful fellow bar flags. Ben Demon Hunter is saying, yes, Roy, thank you for doing this live stream. Richie Z, you star Richie Z, you star Tim, good to see you in here. Uh, say, uh, uh, saying, thanks, Roy. Uh, Sugar Kitty is saying, now coming up the obligatory honey bucket. And Hoyt is saying, thanks, Roy. Uh, and Jason Whiskey Wise is saying, oh my. <laughs> yes, we were, we're, we're, all, uh, we're all grateful for the shot of Inside the Portal, Gregor. Thank you much. For all the covers, all, all bases are covered at the Bastards Ball, clearly. That's right. I have to say, that's cleaner than a lot of these things you walk into. It seemed okay. Yeah. 
uh, approachable. Ah, it's brilliant. <laughs> Jason Whiskey Wise is saying, oh, hopefully I'll, I'll make it across the pond with you two next year. That would be amazing, Jason, if that could happen too. It would be nice to have Whiskey is saying that's life. fantastic. What an event. Thanks again. And oh, Rolf from Norway, I've had the same great stream, Roy. Stream, Roy. Fun to see the action from the ball and all the friendly faces. We've got first Bill Whiskey in from New Zealand, Jason Whiskey Wisen from London, Ebhead from Norway. We've got uh, lots of people in from the States as well. We've got uh, Watchmen and uh, from Canada, Ben Demon Hunter from the States as well. Um, just amazing to see everybody hanging out with us um, to see something that we maybe all don't get a chance to travel to. Jimmy Leg has bought me a dram to see another great evening. Can't wait till we all get together. I'd even like to meet Gregor. Jimmy, like <laughs> fabulous stuff, really, really fabulous stuff. Gregor, Eric, Bill, especially you guys, you, uh, uh, Bill and Gregor. I know what I was asking when I was speaking to you this morning. I knew it was going to be a distraction for you, and you wouldn't be able to relax and just let your hair down. But I was ready to let you go at an hour. You've kept me going for another hour <laughs> beyond that. So you must have had fun. You must have been enjoying it, guys. Roy, that's more testament to you. That was how many people wanted to come and say hi to you. That's how much you're missed, genuinely. Well, in that case, I'll be even more uh, gracious in my thanks then for saying thanks for your patience, for your dedication. Thank you for walking around in uniform as well. And thank you for <laughs> thank you for the cardboard cutout pictures. Thank you for all the pictures. Please keep them coming for everything that's happening tonight. And you guys, if Shane sings tonight, I want to hear it. That's the only promise left that you have to make, OK? If Shane sings tonight, let me hear it. Let him let me hear him belt out a song, okay? If we build it, they will come. We'll make it happen. I'll get video of that. Right. Fantastic. Fantastic. And you can take a uh, cardboard cutout, far more charismatic Roy, along to La Quinta. And make sure just keep an eye on what he's drinking. He's he's uh the, the, yes. The hazard is he doesn't drink enough water at times. <laughs> Guys, thank you. Thank you so much. I love you all dearly. It's wonderful to see your happy faces there. And I look forward to all the drums that we're going to share in future very soon. Gregor, you'll be back in Bonnie soon enough, I'm sure you will. Cheers, miss you. Right, you Bring Bill back. with you. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Stay, stay backstage if you can. If you have okay, to, okay, okay. Good night. Thank you, boys. Thank you all so much. Sure. That proved to be very 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 handy jimmy like thank you very much for your for your virtual dram there that was very handy to have those two superstars on the ground and helping me out i'm very very grateful to them i hope that you've had a chance to get a wee bit of a glimpse of the fun i, I mean the event actually at on campus in the afternoon is very civilized and very um very structured and very together and you can really feel the amount of effort that's been put into it you can take tours like we said there's always a fun entertainment and distractions on the they provide food trucks and everything for everybody it's amazing all the distillers coming on board all the youtube channels getting together and this massive crowd of magnificent bastards turning up to just enjoy whiskey and community together it's amazing but then there's all these other things that happen around it i know it's bourbon night i'll have their meetups they'll have the la quinta thing on friday the la quinta thing on saturday too well, today, it's this week it's different, isn't it? It's probably Friday, Saturday and Sunday, uh, sorry, this year, I should say. Um, so there's it's a whole entire weekend that's built around that kind of core thing that we were able to uh, look uh, through the letterbox at today. I hope you had fun doing it. It was very self-indulgent when I shared the Patreon post with patrons earlier today. I made no bones about it. This was a very self-indulgent thing, but I think that's okay, especially if you guys can have a wee bit of fun with it too. Greg's also is saying, greetings from France. We didn't see time pass, Roy. Thank you, Greg, you superstar. Ben Demon Hunter is saying, as you know, on a Roy to Martin Legacy in the drum. Fantastic, Ben. I hope it's going down well. Wonderful to welcome you in here. Ben, I think you're in Texas. JG is saying, so glad you got this moment since you were not able to be there. Thank you, JG. It's been a lot to me too, my friend. It really has. And uh, Tim is saying, sweet, great time, Roy. Thanks for getting us all together. You're very welcome. Christina Van Ness and at the end, uh, end as well. Graham Fraser, um, wonderful stuff. Mark as well, good to see you. Fantastic testament to this community. Mark, that's a wonderful, wonderful way to sum it up. I'm going to raise this glass of, I don't even remember, what I put in this glass now. This was, um, oh no, this was the Harbinger. This is the one I've been pouring into Jason Whiskey Wise's glass all night uh, in order to share some delicious Iron Root Republic bourbon. I'm going to raise this glass to all of you, everybody in this community, whether you're a barfly, whether you're a malt mate, whether you're a beautiful whiskey folk, whether you're 
a, a magnificent bastard. Whoever you are, whatever part of this community that you partake in, I hope you're enjoying it. It really is, for me, an absolute pleasure and I constantly feel lucky to be part of it. And I don't even mind that I wasn't able to get over the pond this time because I've been able to enjoy myself nonetheless. I'll see you all again for a regular scheduled VPUB on Thursday night. It's been wonderful hanging out with you for an impromptu Sunday night extended opening. And I look forward to hanging out with you very, very soon. Until then, you're all very dearly loved. Slanchava. <laughs>Felt a wee bit weird not finishing on a quiz tonight. Let's finish on a shot of Gregor and Bill eating. <laughs> <laughs> hey, butterflies!